I'm halfway done boozing away my sorrows, and something pretty interesting happened. Oh, baby, you're like a pop tart, hot and sweet. Hey, mommy, you must play the trumpet or something, cause you're making me feel all horny and stuff. You drop your purse, and I just sit for 10 seconds, and not get hit on? Thank you. I was just letting you know you dropped your purse. I'm sorry. I thought, that's fine, that's fine. I'm sure you didn't meet the lady who gave you that ring. In a meat market like this, tool cafeteria, how long you been married? I was gonna tell Han I really was, but I didn't want her to know what a loser I was, so I stretched the truth a little. Six years. Where's your wife tonight? I stopped asking that question a long time ago. That's terrible. My wife says I work too much, trying to provide for her, her shopping addiction. <laughs> Why don't you just leave her, the children, all 14 of them, I just, like to adopt, and I don't want to stop doing that, you poor guy, you want to get out of here, and so I discovered, the power of the wedding ring, the symbol of my humiliation, had become a tool to get back on the horse, are you kidding me, snuffle up agates, I switched my specialty from cardiology to plastic surgery, got rid of the big honker, and the ring became my thing, I just assumed after we got married she'd stop looking, but, you need to put this wedding band on a true heart, this is a good moment, yeah, should we go make it last, for a while, somewhere, okay, let's go, to your dorm, sometimes I think about, throwing the ring into the ocean, I know how wrong it is but I can't, it's my precious, besides, being fake married, is the perfect way to make sure, I never get my heart broken again. What are these? Booby bags. Women, they stick them in their flat chesties. Take them big. These are not the booby bags that I ordered. What is that? It's like a syrup dispenser at an IHOP. I don't know what that is. Come on. These, they don't feel like these. Oh, seriously. Oh, very young. What will you leave? All set, Charlie. We're only dancing on this earth for a short while. Young Roy. Hey, Pop. Whoa. Hey, Pop. You got time for a game before supper? Go get your ball. I'll meet you out back. Okay, Roy. Come on. I want to see some smoke on this one. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Whistles. Son, you put that in a bottle. You got something sweeter than you. Whoa. Beauty. You got a great gift, son. It's as if angels came down from heaven and put a blessing on your three bowling digits. You can apply everything that I've taught you about bowling to your daily life, and if you do that, you're going to be decent, you're going to be moral, you're going to be a good man, singing disco inferno, disco music playing, singing disco inferno, all, all, all cheering, well, all set, guys, that, and you believe this, me on the professional bowling tour, it's your calling, son, one day, when people say the name Munson, they're gonna think, Gunner. just like the Maggio is to baseball, or Unitas is to football, that's what Munson will be, it's sad, sniffles, probst, good morning, guys, sniffles, probst, good morning, guys, how's the cornmeal taste, getting a little bland, getting, laughter, prost, it was bland to begin with, all right, hopefully we can do a little something about that today today's challenge is a food reward behind us on a rope web 12 items that will dramatically improve your meals things like olive oil sun-dried tomatoes who probst so a big food reward here's how it works one at a time tribe members are gonna make their way up the ramp across the netting and up the rope web they are going to grab one item and bring it back once you cross the line the next person goes the first tribe to get all items back in their basket wins the food reward Losers get squat. Makes sense. Wait for my go. Here we go, guys. Survivors, ready. Oops. Go, 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 baby. Cheering, shouting, groaning, grunts, gasps. Whoa. Go, go. Pooping, whistling. Come on. Come on, Clarence. Indistinct shouts. Come on, girl. Good job. Hooping. Let's go. Let's go, team. Come on, team. Indistinct shouts. Go. Hooping. Go, 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 go. Linda. Come on, rank. Hooping. Let's go, rank. Probst. Okay, guys, get ready for your second run. You're still neck and neck. Go, e. Go. Indistinct shouts. Whistling. Grunts. Go, go, go. Climb. Grunts. Go, go, go. Climb. It's not like you've never climbed before. Go, T bird. Probst. All right, guys, you're still even. Indistinct shouts, indistinct shouts. Come on, come on, Kimmy. Hooping, shouting. Let's go, let's go. Indistinct shout. Go, Lindsay. Hooping, whistling. Indistinct shouts. Hooping, whistling. Continue. Go, 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 go. Come on, Kimmy. Yeah, Provst. Sambaru, this is your last basket. Baran, you still got two. Yeah, Baran, you still got two. Yeah, yeah, Sambaru. Provst. Sambaru, a lot of stuff in there. Take your prize home. Have a good meal. I'll see you guys tomorrow for immunity. All right, see you guys. We lost the challenge. Unfortunately, you know, it came down to Kim went really slow. I feel terrible for her. She couldn't feel good, and I know she doesn't feel good, and it's hard. It must be really. I'm glad I'm not in that situation. Sorry, not a great job. Well, also, I mean, I don't like to be that terrible at something. That's like no one does. That's like really terrible. You know, we all fell. We all took our time, everyone us took fell down, we all said, you know, good job, you did the best you could, but, you know, really, she was, like, I suck, and, we're, like, yeah, you, you suck, I could tell from your faces everybody gave it 100%, you know, in competition it's not about giving it your best, sometimes, sometimes it's about actual, the winning, we just got to, got to hope we get out there and get them, next time, let's just drink the water, to bowling, man one, that's right, Roy, and two, yeah, Roy, I hope so, dad, I want to make you proud, Okay, Roy, uh, maybe you can get this old piece of crap working, or, uh, if you get in a 
package. Maybe you'll get a couple of bucks for it. Ah, thanks, Dad. You go get them, son. I will. Man, it all comes down to this role. Oi, Munson, a man child with a dream to topple bowling giant Ernie McCracken. If he strikes, he's the 1979 Odor Eaters champion. He's got one foot in the frying pan and one in the pressure cooker. Believe me, as a bowler, I know that right about now your bladder feels like an overstuffed vacuum cleaner bag and your butt is kind of like an about to explode broadwurst bag. Do you mind? I wasn't talking when you were bowling. Was I talking out loud? Was I? Sorry. Good luck. Crowd cheering. Yeah, yeah. Crowd. Munson, 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 Munson. Middle Eastern accent. Big problem. My friend. Engine blown. Engine blown. Someone put sugar in your tank. Sugar. Everyone inside now. Lucinda, we're going in. Lucinda, Lucinda, we're going in. Lucinda, now. Remember tomorrow is our official opening day. Thank you. Yes, Miss Taylor. Yes, Miss Taylor. Can you remember Principal Clark ran a competition last month to find the best ideas to celebrate this very special day? Me, 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 me. Well, yesterday, the staff selected the winning idea, and it came from this class. The winner is our own. Lucinda Embry. Lucinda, by her. Lucinda, Lucinda. Come on, everyone. We'll be closing our dedication ceremony with the burial of a time capsule. Yes. What's a time capsule? This is a time capsule. Wow, that's incredible. Now, I need you to put your thinking caps on, because I want each of you to draw what you think the future is going to look like. And we'll put the pictures in the capsule 50 years from today. A group of children just like yourselves will open it up to see what you drew. Doesn't that sound exciting? Yes, Miss Taylor. Yes, Miss Taylor. Let's begin. That is a lovely spaceship there. Done. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Well done. And that is a nice robot. Drew. Very good. Time's up. Everyone hand your work in, and make sure you write your name on the envelope. The names over here. Thank you, Harold. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Legend tells of a legendary warrior. His kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. He traveled the land in search of worthy foes. I see you like to chew. Maybe you should chew on my fist. The warrior said nothing for his mouth was full. Then he swallowed, and then he spoke. Enough talk. Let's fight. Chashaboy. He was so deadly, in fact, that his enemies would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness. My eyes. He's too awesome and attractive. How can we repay you? There is no charge for awesomeness or attractiveness. Kate e. LT mattered not how many foes he faced. They were no match for his bow acidic. Never before had a panda been so feared and so loved. Even the most heroic heroes in China, the Furious Five, but in respect to this great master, should hang out. Agreed. But hanging out would have to wait. Because when you're facing the 10,000 demons of Demon Mountain, there's only one thing that matters and that's, oh, get up, you'll be late for work. What, oh, get up, oh, what are you doing up there? Nothing. Monkey. Mantis. Crane. Viper. Tigress. Oh, let's go. You're late for work. Coming. Sorry, Dad. Sorry doesn't make the audience applauding. Man, thank you. Thank you and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 34th Annual Convention of the American Motion Upholstery Association. Thank you. Wasn't lunch wonderful? Perfect. As you know, this year's not been an easy one for our industry. As we're listening to our inspiring keynote speaker today, he'll be giving us a useful shot in the arm. Panting is the author of the book Get Over It. Mobile phone ringing. A rising star in the field of personal motivation. Yes, Bob, I will. On time. No, okay, but I've got be on time. Now, for my introduction. Okay, and please don't call during the speech. Remember, as we listen to his inspiring words, ERRR, that motion is our middle name. And forward motion is our goal. I'm glad you're gonna get to know Jack Cochran. Corcoran, Corcoran, audience applauding. Asking, I'm over it. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, John. My father died before I was born, trying to save a child drowning in icy water. And it took me a long time before I stopped resenting that. Finally, I did. Finally, I was able to get over it. And when I did, I found out a lot of things about me that were neat. Neat things that I wanted to share with other people who maybe didn't know some neat things about themselves. Now, I see some people out here looking just confused as heck. Now, here's somebody here who's just bored to tears, whispering, I'm gonna sneak right up on him. Don't tell him. I'm gonna look at his name attack, shouting, Richie, Richie, I caught you. I caught him. Richie's here, building a pyramid of sugar cubes. You made a nice pyramid. That's right. You have good ideas. You want to do things. You're motivated. That's okay. But wouldn't you rather work with people than with sugar cubes? Don't think about it too much. Come here. Just a sec. Audience laughing. Come on. Help me out here. Who else we got here? Who's this? Joe. Stand up. Come on here. You're a big guy. Looks like a hip cat. Right. Who else? Come here. You. You're a big drink of water. Get over here. Careful. Everybody. Are you supposed to be in a parade later today? Nice outfit. Bum buttery. But fluttery dum diddly oh. Bum buttery. Bluebird is singing a tune. Daffy down dillies awaken and prune. Bursting in bloom all the flowers assume. It's a loverly, loverly spring. Chick chattery chipmunks all singing along. Humming their join in a spring along song. Spring is the springiest time for a song. It's a loverly, loverly spring. In the forest we play with the rabbits all day. I'm sorry to say that this is not the movie you will be watching. The movie you are about to see is extremely unpleasant. If you wish to see a film about a happy little elf, I'm sure there is still plenty of seating in theater number two. However, if you like stories about clever and reasonably attractive orphans, suspicious fires, carnivorous leeches, Italian food and secret organizations, and stick. As I retrace each and every one of the Baudelaire children's woeful steps, my name is Lemonus Nicket, and it is my sad duty to document this tale. Violet Baudelaire, the eldest, was one of the finest 14-year-old inventors in the world. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was inventing something. Her long hair was tied up in a ribbon. In a world of abandoned items and discarded materials, Violet knew there was always something, something she could fashion into nearly any device, or nearly every occasion, and no one was better to test her inventions than her brother, Klaus Baudelaire, the middle child, loved books, or, rather, the things he learned from books. The Baudelaire parents had an enormous library in their mansion, a room filled with thousands of books on nearly every subject, and nothing pleased Klaus more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents, and everything he read he remembered. Sunny, the youngest, had a different interest. She liked to buy things and had four sharp teeth. There was very little that Sunny did not enjoy biting. Sunny was at an age when one mostly speaks, in a series of unintelligible shrieks, for instance, which probably meant, look at that mysterious figure emerging, W-O-R-K, work. Today we're going to share what our parents do for work. My mommy is a doctor, my daddy is a truck driver, my mom's a teacher, and your dad, M-M-M, my dad, he's a liar, a, a liar, oh, I'm sure you don't mean a liar. Well, he wears a suit and goes to court and talks to the judge. Oh, I see, you mean he's a lawyer. Hey, pleasure, how'd it go? Just another victory for the wrongly accused. Yeah, right, Mr. Reed,
like that. Oh, yeah, it's becoming a claw. Nothing can stop the claw. Run, but run. Save yourself. Do the claw to mob. Do the claw to mob. No, I found the claw's only weakness. Sub-zero temperatures. So, if you have any trouble finding the place. Okay, I'm late. I'm sorry. I ran out of gas. The gauge is broken. Rough neighborhood too. Good thing I was wearing neutral gang colors. I might have had to pull out my nine and bust a cap. I mind and my money and my money and my mind. They would never hurt you. Butcher, you're their lawyer. That was below the belt. The gloves up. Mom, dad's taking me to see wrestling. Oh, pleasure. Oh, Audrey. Why do you have to take him to see that stuff? It's very vile. Heroic music playing. Digital triller. Whooshing. Beeping. Alarm sounding. Beeping. Crack snap. Beeping. Button beeps. Buzz. Buzz light year mission log. Start date 3901. Sensors have detected potential life forms on an uncharted planet. So, we're making a detour to investigate. Soft music playing. Space rangers will make initial evaluation. Then assess whether it's worth waking the science crew from their hypersleep. While the Eric takes core samples, I will explore further the oddities of this strange planet. Device beeping. Loud breathing through helmet. Terrain seems a bit unstable. No readout yet if the air is breathable. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to those. I know that. Narrating helps me focus. Stay sharp. Yeah, well, if it bothers you, Commander Hawthorne, I'm happy to wait back on the turn. At least don't call it the turn. But the ship looks like a root vegetable. Yes, you made that very clear at the design review. Foreboding music plays. How long have you known that I narrate? Forever. Since you and I were cadets. Speaking of, you forgot to take the rookie with you. Uh, Commander Hawthorne, you know how I feel about rookies. The same way I feel about autopilots. Mockingly, how may I assist you? Is there anything I can do, sir? They don't help. They just overcomplicate things. I'm better off just doing the job myself. Which is why I brought the rookie. Dramatic musical flourish. Ah, uh, hello. No, Buzz. Protocol requires we bring him along. He's gonna have sad eyes. Alicia, Buzz. You know I can't deal with sad eyes. Alicia, look at the rookie. Buzz. No, look at the. Look. No, no, no. Alicia, light year. Look at him. Not looking. Alicia, look. No, look. Look, look. No, no, no. Look at the rookie. Dash. Size heavily. Soft musical flourish. All right, all right. You win. Buzz size. Look. Feather. Featherings. Feather. It's Featheringhamston, sir. Look, rookie. First, you will not speak unless spoken to. Yes, sir. Still talking. Second, respect the suit. This suit means something. It's not just protecting your body. It's protecting the universe. Dash. Heroic music playing. This suit is a promise to the world that you and you alone will do one thing above all. Finish the mission, no matter the cost. Dash. Music crescendoing. You, obviously, I miscalculated a few things. Eddie, I know you're in there. Why is it that the moment your life exceeds your wildest dreams, a knife appears in your back? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I will never let them touch me. My neighbor must have opened his door to complain. For a guy with a four-digit IQ, I must have missed something. And I hadn't missed much. I'd come this close to having an impact in the world. And now, the only thing I had an impact on was the sidewalk. You see that guy? That was me. Not so long ago. What kind of guy without a drug or alcohol problem looks this way? Only a writer. Strangely enough, nobody believed that I actually had a book contract. Well, it's best rated as a sci-fi novel. But it's really a, my own personal manifesto about the plight of the individual in the 21st century. And I sort of created a utopian society where we all sort of, uh, it's really, it, it's really, it's re, uh, today was the day I was gonna kick its ass. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, it's gonna be great. Just gotta put in the time and stay in the room. That's the key concept. Don't leave the room. A few weeks passed this way. Maybe a few months. At least I still had Lindy. Just like that. Come on, Eddie. This is hardly a surprise. I am surprised. Let's just not do this. I am gonna hand in 90 pages tomorrow on Friday. You just wait to see what she says. Eddie, what? I know how it's going. I am, I was, your girlfriend. That word doesn't even begin to describe what you are to me. Partner. Squeeze. Paramore. Domerator. Cleaning Lindy. Bank. Well, be there that. Well, what's mine is yours too. And you know that I want to share the rest of my life with you. In fact, I was thinking that we should probab. Let me show you what I made today. I can't wait. I need to go upstairs and change. And then I'll start dinner. Oh, yes, it's ladies night and the feel. Showtime. Rough day at the office, Mrs. Dunlevy. You'll feel better once you get out of those work clothes and into some sweats. I wish you'd let me rub those feet. Of course, I wouldn't use my hands. I think Victoria just told me her secret. Deedly deed. Are those things for me? Mom, coming in. Scotty Dunlevy. What unfortunate timing. Get out. Don't you know this is naughty time? I'll get it. Hello, Scotty. Why don't you be a good little boy? Go downstairs and let your mother get comfy. Who is this? This is a big bird who wants to see the rest of mommy. Oh, my God, Scotty. Is that a man up our tree? No, no. Tell her it's just a big bird. Hey, pal. Welcome. Welcome to what? Er, ML. Aren't you that horny guy who was pretending to be a big bird? Checking out that beautiful mom. Yes, I am. Now you'll see what a big horny bird actually looks like. In hell, I deserve this. Knock, knock. Hey, Jimmy. What are you doing? Take it. Just jamming. Your father wants you and your brothers in the throne room. He's not retiring today, is he? He wants to talk to you and Cassius and Adrian about who'll rule hell for the next 10,000 years. Why do I need to go? You won't pick me. I happen to think you'd make a great devil. I'm not into evil and torture and all that stuff. Plus, the Prince of Darkness should look distinguished. And let's face facts. I'm no George Clooney. You're not a bad looking guy. Nicky, look at that picture. I used to talk normal. Do. Man 1. We get the wheels. We get loft area. We keep moving on. No messing around. You mess those wheels up this time. Chong. I'm gonna have your ass. Move. Man 2. Right there. Holmes. Man 3. There's nobody. Holmes. Man 1. Where's your party? Boy. Turn down the radio. You inviting the cops too. Or what? Man 2. I want El Cromo. Man 1. Gonna get some green for this shit right here. Holmes. Groans. Uh, men continue speaking indistinctly. Man 1. Hey. Music playing on speakers. Uh, guys. Those are chrome plated lugs. You're gonna strip them. Man 1. Look at this guy. Uh, the plating flakes off. Yeah. This is a lease. No one's gonna pay to ride. Gunshot. Man laughing. Men speaking Spanish. Groaning. Shit. Man 3. Come on. Man. Uh, guys. Guys. Man 1. What the fuck? Guys. Seriously. You don't wanna do this. Man 1. Take him out. All grunting. Man 1. Fuck him up. Man speaking Spanish. No. Not the car. Man 1. Get that puto. Fuck him up. Man. Fuck him up. Get him. Hit that fool. Yelling. Motherfucker. Choking. Yells. Man speaking Spanish. Grunts. Glass shatters. Panting. Shit. Fuck. Bullets clattering. Grunting. Fits. Clyde
today's challenge was my having to face the reality that Kim is definitely not up to some of the more physical challenges. There's nothing good about losing, like nothing. If our team is just real losers and we lose everything, that's going to be awful. All right, Hooping. This morning was a little tense, but we really pulled together today and we won some food. All in all, it was an unbelievable victory today. So it boosted up morale, boosted spirits, boosted everything. Confidence it was a good thing. Let's pull them out one at a time and tell me what it is. We've got golden chicken blend, nice spice, ooh, to put in the mush, olive oil, gasps, yeah, olive oil. The basket we won was just amazing. We won soup mix, you know, rice, we won, like, jelly to put on, stuff, I mean, it's flavor, or the food that we have, and that's key. Speaking indistinctly, I cannot be any more excited about the fact we got food unless it was water. Laughs, I would give it all up for water. Should we do a water run? Right now? Right now. We're going to have a heck of a hike. Oh, we're carrying all three big gourds. We'll go slow. All the water gourds. Load up. We can take some rests, I think. Cause, sure. One of the big focuses in our group is water, obviously. We have to go get the water. We have to boil the water. Frank and Doc were kind of the two people who took it under their wing. They were kind of the water people getting the water going. And our group was going. And they were doing all the work. Fine with us. We don't do any of it. We were more focused on the split in the tribe and manipulation people and doing that than we were about any other part of surviving out here you fill this one and you take a breather I'll fill this and we'll rotate the fillers here because I know you know you and Linda usually fill these things and we'll rotate that's cool we were in a real water crunch I mean we were all dehydrated from the challenge severely and I'm sure to prove a point to us Frank and Linda and T let the water level get completely gone come on guys last leg we're almost there we're just going then we came home, lost another pot completely. Pots are extremely valuable because that's the only way we have to have clean drinking water. We have to boil it. Is it leaking right now? Yeah, yeah. One of our pots now is completely unusable and the other one, you know, is still on its side and just, it's crumbling. Every time we put it in the fire, it crumbles more and more. Let's fill it up. It's got a gourd. Things began to slack off. You know, the water rations went down. My plan of attack was, you know, to let the comfort level drop completely low, and they would, I know they would break down, and uh, you could see that, things were falling apart, oh, my gosh, guys, we're in a heap of trouble, can you save the bottom, can you save it where it's leaking out, hold that side, you ready, let's see if we can lift it, lift it off the ground, right there, we now have completely shattered all of our pots, so it's a horrible situation that we got ourselves into, hey, we are not in good shape, boys and girls, I'll just say that right now, we'll make do, we'll make do, I'm still, like God, this tribe, can we get our act together? You know, there's still that hanging over my head, like... And speaking indistinctly, Gabriella, Wolverine, I knew it was you. Oh, fuck, please, I'm in trouble. You have, he has, we have, you have, we have. Time travel has not yet been invented, but 30 years from now, it will have been. It will be instantly outlawed, used only in secret by the largest criminal organizations. It's nearly impossible to dispose of a body in the future, I'm told, for tagging techniques, but not. So when these criminal organizations in the future need someone gone, they use specialized assassins in our present called loopers. And so, my employers in the future nab the target. They zap him back to me. Their looper, your peers, hands tied, and head sacked, and I do the necessaries. Collect my silver so the target is vanished from the future, and I just disposed of a body that technically does not exist. Clean. Hello, Joe. Hello, Beatrice. How's the French? Slow. How's the coffee? Burnt. The devil bring you into hell. You have to heal yourself too. Jet. Hey, Joe. He at the club tonight. Yeah. Or Jet. Hey. Walk around. Around the bike. I'm not kidding. Wide around. You should. Rude. If you had a mama, she didn't raise you right. That's funny. I'm going to pick your mother up later on my bike, and I'm gonna take my blunderbuss. Hey, Jet. Hey, Joe. That's new. Yeah. That. A beat classic Italian music playing. Music continues faintly over speaker. Listen, Tommaso. Do we really need to fish near the island? Yeah. You worry too much. I don't know. What if the old stories are true? Tommaso, oh, come on, Giacomo, you really believe in sea monsters? Too many strange things have been seen in these waters. They're all just stories. Tall tales to keep us away from a great fishing spot. Giacomo, but Tommaso, we're fine. Comforts in Italian. Operatic music playing over gramophone. Ah, that's more like it. Woman singing aria over gramophone. Grunting. Giacomo continues grunting. Giacomo humming. Gasps. What is that? Exclaims in Italian. Grunting. Both yell. Grunting. Tommaso urging in Italian. Operatic music continues playing. Both gasp. Grunts. Both panting. You missed. Let's go. Before it comes back for us. Giacomo, I told you they were real. Tommaso, oh, what a monster. Horrifying. Screams. Fish out of the barn. Fish out of the barn. No, no, no. Mom's gonna kill me. Katerina. Dash. Bleeds. Wait. Katerina bleeds. Whoa. Oh, good morning, Mr. Branzino. And also, I'm sorry. Dash. Size. Well, how's Mrs. Branzino? Hi. Luca. Bleeds. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you? Yes. Chuckles nervously. Bleating. Giuseppe. Get back here. You want to run off like your buddy Enrico? Grunts. Because I've got news for you. He's either dead, or he's out there, somewhere, seeing the world, but he's probably dead. Phew. Okay, that's everyone. Mona Lisa. Why are you smiling? Anyone else in there? Size. Giuseppe. What did we just talk about? Oh, Giuseppe. Alright. Let's head out. Gentle instrumental music playing. Hello. Good morning, Luca. Hi. Mrs. Aragosta. Hey, Luca. 
Luca, good morning. Sea farmer, morning. Gentle instrumental music continues. Okay, all clear. Let me know if you need anything. Anyone? No. Okay, Luca size, size. Clock links, size. Giuseppe, gasps. Low unnerving music playing. Ash, alarm ringing. Dash, yelps. Oh, uh. Gentle string music playing. Gasps in awe. Chuckles. Lucy, life was given to us a billion years ago. What have we done with it? Lucy, it's easy as pie. In and out. All done and dusted. And why don't you do it yourself? The last thing the guy's expecting is a total ten turning up to deliver the case. It'll blow his mind. Come on. What's in it? Chuckling. Sweetheart, don't get paranoid on me. All right. You trust me, don't you? Beat dance music playing. Oh, whooping. Oh, Richard, I really do like you, but I have to take care of myself right now. Got it. I don't know. I've got to concentrate on so many things. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm going home because I have exams on Monday. I have to shower and I have to study. Okay. You know what? The other day, I was in this museum, and you know what I found out? What? The first ever woman was named Lucy. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Yeah. No. I'll call you. Okay. 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 I'll be honest with you. I can't deliver the case myself. I had a little falling out with the guy. It's nothing major. If it's you, problem solved. You walk in there. Source unknown. English subtitles edited by Sumix. Ending song the stroke added by Sumix. Suntan lotion is good for me. You protect me. Tee hee hee. Oh, the sun tries to burn me, but you won't let it. Oh yeah. Ultraviolet rays. Bad lotion. Good. Close raspberries. Close raspberries. Close raspberries. Smiley. There's something important I was supposed to do today. Five diaries. No, you remember to do that. Man, why did I have so many drinks? I can't remember. What's today? October. It's nudie magazine day. Yeah. Watch out, butler. Oh, you're a quick one. Nudie magazine day. Nudie magazine day. Nudie magazine day. Nudie. Oh, oh, ee, oh, oh. Squawking. Holy jeez. Looky what we got here. That silly penguin is back again. No, Mr. Madison. There no penguin. We got too much sun today. There no penguin. Squawks. It's too damn hot for a penguin to be just walking around here. I gotta send him back to the South Pole. No, penguin. Don't you dare run away. Come here, Mr. Penguin. I'm one of the good guys. Penguin. Don't run. Oh, oh, don't run. Don't run from me. Penguin. Penguin. You're a bad penguin. We eat. All the zoo. All the people at the zoo are very nice. Penguin. They'll treat you real respectable. Bye. There's nothing to worry about. Big fella. Here I come. Right this way. Gentlemen. Mr. Madison is expecting you. Plant Billy. You shouldn't pull that crap in front of your father's business associates. Now you get yourself upstairs and get ready. Dinner's in 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Tell me. This is a very important dinner. The best be there. I will. Thank you, Juanita. You gotta dress yourself up and look nice, too. Hello. I am Andy, and I would like to thank you for coming to my movie. I wish it was better, you know, but it's so stupid. It's terrible. I, I do not even like it. All of the most important things in my life. AAR changed around and mixed up. Or, um, for dramatic purposes. So, I decided to cut out all of the baloney. Now the movie is much shorter. In fact, this is the end of the movie. Thank you very much. I am not fooling. Goodbye. Go. Wow. You're still here. Okay. I hope you're not upset. I did that to get rid of those folks who just wouldn't understand me and don't even want to try. Actually, the movie is really great. It's just filled with colorful characters. Like the one I just did and the one I'm doing now. Our story begins. Back in Great Neck, Long Island. This is our house. And that's my father's old car. That's my father. That's my little brother Michael. That's my little sister Carol. And that's my mom, Dennis. And he's up in his room. Yeah, Mr. Bear is saying that Mrs. Cat made his head fall off. She saw it and it's not true. Today's special guest, Mr. Bear. What's up, Mr. Bear? Andy, son, this has got to stop. Our house is not a television station. There's not a camera in that wall. I mean, this is not healthy. You should be outside playing sports. But I have my own sports show. Andy, you know that's not what I meant. Look, I'm gonna put my foot down. No more playing alone. You want to perform. You have got to have an audience. They're right there. That is not an audience. That is plaster. An audience is made of people. People who live and breathe. Andy Kaufman and Howdy Doty present. The animal song. I'm gonna say the animal, and then you tell me what it says. Okay, okay. Oh, the cow goes, woo, and the cat goes, meow, meow, and the bird goes, tweet, 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 and the lion goes, roar, and the dog goes, rough, and the cat goes, meow, and the bird goes, tweet, and the pig goes, blink, and that's the way it goes. The comedy stylings of Andy Kaufman. Thank you. So, Mr. Besserman, same spot tomorrow? I don't know, Andy. I think I have to let you go. You're firing me. You, you don't even pay me. I don't want to seem insulting. Your act is like amateur hour. You're doing sing alongs for s. Howdy there, Mr. Lee. What's this? Filipino New Year's? No. How do you say that? Cause you're cooking a feast. I can smell it from the interstate. What is that? Barbecue. Yeah, but not coming from here. What is that noise? What is your take on this? Jerry, the people will love it. Mr. President, the conflict is whether we ambush the 6 o'clock news or hold out for prime time. Screw the press. This is a need to know situation. You should make it top secret and should move in with DEFCON 4. I can't sit on this. General Casey, do you have an opinion? Well, sir, do we know they are hostile? What do you mean? They have the planet surrounded by thousands of warships. Do we know their warships? Professor, what do we know about them? They're very advanced technologically, which suggests, rightfully so, that they're peaceful. An advanced civilization is, by definition, not barbaric. Mr. President, this is a great day, and all my colleagues are extremely excited. Good. Extraterrestrial life. You're right, Jerry. The people are going to love it. This is a momentous occasion. Mr. President, we'll go all media on this. I'll wear my Saruti suit. Distant explosion. Strucker on PA. Report to your stations immediately. This is not a drill. We are under attack. Soldiers shouting indistinctly. We are under attack. Runs. Powering up. Yells. Grunting. Screaming. Roaring. Shit. Language. Jarvis. What's the view from upstairs? Jarvis. The central building is protected by some kind of energy shield. Strucker's technology is well beyond any other hydra base we've taken. Grunting. Loki sector must be here. Strucker couldn't mount this defense without it. At long last. Soldier shouting in German. At long last is lasting a little long. Voice. Dash. Drones. Dash. Grunts. Yeah. I think we lost the element of surprise. Soldiers groaning. Wait a second. No one else is gonna deal with the fact that Cap just said language. I know. All grunting. Size just slipped out. Who gave the order to attack? Air Strucker. It's the Avengers. They landed in the far woods. The perimeter guard panicked. They have to be after the scepter. Can we hold them? They're the Avengers. Deploy the rest of the tanks. Concentrate fire on the weak ones. A hit may make them close ranks. Everything we've accomplished, but we're on the verge of our greatest breakthrough. Then let's show them what we've accomplished. Send out the twins. Strucker. It's too soon. Doctor List. It's what they signed up for. My men can hold them.
Avengers all, we are here to help, all, Avengers, go home, crouch your we are here to help, Strucker, we will not yield, the Americans sent their circus freaks to test us, we will send them back in bags, no surrender, all, no surrender, I am going to surrender, you delete everything, if we give the Avengers the weapons, you may not look too far into what we've been, the twins, they are not ready to take on, no, no, I mean, whispers, twins, groans, you didn't see that coming, breathing heavily, dash, groans, dash, gasps, flint, dash, groans, we have an enhanced in the field, flint's hit, groaning, somebody want to deal with that bunker, roaring, thank you, groaning, Stark, you really need Barton, okay, hold on, don't shoot, you see where you're going, mm, okay, now, let's worry about how you get there, gotta move your foot here, point your toe this way, your hips here, okay, can you see, yeah, are you sure, mm, how about now, can you see now, dash, chuckles, no, how about now, both laugh, all right, ready, three fingers, Cooper, nice, Laura, nice throw, kiddo, Cooper, here you go, hey, do you guys want mayo, or mustard, or both, who puts mayo on a hot dog, probably your brothers, uh, two mustard, please, thanks, mama, Laura, got it, Nate, mayo, or mustard, how about ketchup, Laura, or ketchup, you got ketchup too, Barton, mind your elbow, laughs, good job, Papa. go get your arrow, chuckles, Laura, hey, guys, enough practice, suits on, Barton, all right, we're coming, we're hungry, Lila, let's go, Lila, hey, 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 dash, thunder rumbling, babe, babe, whistles, voice, voice, Laura, thunder rumbling, psychedelic rocks on playing, dash, runs, dash, object clatters, you don't need to do that, because, uh, you're just holding the position, oh, yeah, dash, runs, that was close, dash, runs, that's a goal, we are now one apiece, I would like to try again, we're tied up, feel the tension, it's fun, that was terrible, now you have a chance to win, and you've won, congratulations, fair game, good sport, you have fun, it was fun, dash, clicks, dash, runs, helmet whirring, size, this thing on, hey, miss pots, now exhales deeply, if you find this recording, don't post it on social media, it's gonna be a real tear jerker, I don't know if you're ever gonna see these, I don't even know if you're still, oh god, I hope so, today's day 21, no, uh, 22, you know, if it wasn't for the existential terror, of staring into the literal void of space, I'd say I'm feeling a little better today, infections run its course, thanks to the blue mina back there, hope you love her, very practical, only a tiny bit sadistic, so, the fuel cells were cracked during battle, and we figured out a way to reverse the ion charge, and bought ourselves about 48 hours of flight time, uh, and it's now dead in the water, thousand light years from the nearest 7-11, oxygen will run out tomorrow morning, and that'll be a uh, you know I said no more surprises, but I gotta say I was really hoping, to pull off one last one, but it looks like, well, you know what it looks like, don't feel bad about this, I mean, actually, if you grovel for a couple weeks, and then move on with enormous guilt, I should prox guardian, on radio, this is the Asgardian, refugee vessel statesman, people whimpering and screaming, we are under assault, I repeat, we are under assault, the engines are dead, life support failing, requesting aid from any vessel within range, we are 22, jump points out of Asgard, the crew is made up of Asgardian families, we have very few soldiers here, this is not a warcraft, I repeat, this is not a warcraft, Ebony Maw, hear me and rejoice, Rose, you have had the privilege, of being saved by the great titan, you may think this is suffering, no, it is salvation, universal scales tip toward balance, because of your sacrifice, smile, dash, blade swishes, dash, and grunts, or even in death, you have become children of Thanos, I know what it's like to lose, you feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail, nonetheless, or groaning, it's frightening, turns the legs to jelly, but I ask you, to what end, dread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same, and now, it's here, or should I say, I am, choking, you talk too much, the tesseract, or your brother's head, low growl, I assume you have a preference, what to do, or continues choking, kill away, dash, crackling, dash, groaning, door screaming, all right, stop, or gasping, we don't have the tesseract, it was destroyed on Asgard, panting, you really are the worst brother, I assure you, brother, the sun will shine on us again, and us chuckling, your optimism is misplaced, Asgardian, well, for one thing, I'm not Asgardian, and for another, we have a hull, hulk rowers, rowers, Thanos grunting, dash, Thanos groans, let him have his fun, grunting, groans, hulk grunting, grunting, clattering, grunts, panting, all feathers, panting, let the dark magic flow through me one last time, panting, that was a mistake, groans, no, you're going to die for, what's wrong with us, you know, we crack pots, we whine, we complain, we have, problems, people are fighting, da 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 da, whatever, and I'm, like God, when are we going to get this together, screeching, what's up ahead, Tom, baboons, looks like a pretty good tribe of them, best thing we can do is just, let them go, they let us go, we're starting to be animal friendly, whatever they want, we'll do, sometimes you do get, comfortable, a little bit comfortable here, and, you know, you think you're all safe and everything's great, and then you get a wake up call, whistling, buffalo, Tom had his eyes up, thank, god, stand there, we've all done our homework, and we all know that that is the, one animal that we need to be most careful of, it's considered to be the most dangerous animal in Africa, you don't mess with this, you guys, you know, it was scary, it was there and it was huge, so when we saw this thing, we made a lot of noise, oh, whistling, and then we realized at that point we needed to leave this, place, all right, guys, let's go, you want to head a little left, Tommy, you all in agreement that we should go a little bit fur, left, I can still see him, too, I don't want to move, I don't think we should move, either, he's coming right towards, camp, we're not in a hurry, not a single one of us came here thinking that all of this, danger was going to be real, our camp's right over there, to the left, we're finding on a daily basis, we're having these kind of sobering experiences, that remind us every day that we need to respect the land and that this whole thing is very real, danger is here, bad tempered, bad neighbors, good morning, Camp Samburu, rise and shine, don't plug in the curling irons, there ain't no beauty contest, this morning, just a little watering hole expedition, groaning, this morning I took a long shot, first thing before the sun even got up, I got them up, water thing I can't ignore, believe me, if it was just me.
and them, I'd let them fall flat on their faces, cause I don't give a damn, you know, but I can't do that to Teresa, and Linda, I feel compelled to, you know, want to protect and make life easy for them as well, you can take a nice little morning hike, get it out of the way, while it's nice and cool, all right, all right, come on, guys, Frank, we just hit the snooze button, oh don't tell me you guys are, the snooze button type of people, mm him, oh, you don't need a snooze button, you've been sleeping most of your lives, come on, it's getting hot already. Who who agreed on this? Who? Uh, shut up. Shut up. Elephant trumpeting. My ass is on the line here. You know, it's not. I mean, I know, I know. It's a team. We'll just buy you a little more time. I know. Then we don't have one more challenge than you. Don't have to worry about it. Living like nomads means moving around. Do well at this challenge. You may stick around. Now if you fall behind and the other tribe wins, it's immunity for them as your hike to council begins. It is physical, but I'm sure you have to do smarts with it, too. It isn't just brute, like pushing a rock. Props, all right. First thing I need to do take back the immunity idol. Give it up. Clarence, laughter. Immunity back at stake again. Today, for today's immunity challenge, we're going to look to our African hosts for a little inspiration. The tribes of East Africa are no SHH, my humble personage, boast before your grandeur. No other being has ever had the mind, the nobility, to wield not one, but two infinity stones. The universe lies within your grasp. And us groaning, there are two more stones on earth. Find them, my children, and bring them to me on Titan. Father, we will not fail you. Loki, if I might interject, if you're going to earth, you might want to guide. The other, Tesseract has awakened. It is on a little world, a human world. They would wield its power, but our ally knows its workings as they never will. He is ready to lead, and our force, our ship Ori, will follow. A world will be his, the universe, yours, and the humans. What can they do but burn? Agent on PA, all personnel. The evacuation order has been confirmed. Continues giving instructions. Direct Agents. How bad is it? That's the problem, sir. I don't know. Dr. Selvig read an energy surge from the Tesseract four hours ago. NASA didn't authorize Selvig to go to test phase. He wasn't testing it. He wasn't even in the room. Spontaneous event. It just turned itself on. Where are the energy levels now? Climbing. When Selvig couldn't shut it down, he ordered evac. How long to get everyone out? Campus should be clear in the next half hour. Do better. Hill, sir. Evacuation may be futile. Fury, we should tell them to go back to sleep. Hill, we can't control the Tesseract's energy. There may not be a minimum safe distance. I need you to make sure. The phase two prototypes are shipped out. Sir, is that really a priority right now? Until such time as the world ends, it will act as though it intends to spin. On. Clear out the tech below. Every piece of phase two on a truck and gone. Yes, sir. Me. Talk to me, doctor. Director. Hurry. Is there anything we know for certain? Selvig. The tesseract is misbehaving. Is that supposed to be funny? No, it's not funny at all. The tesseract is not only active. She's behaving. Fury. I assume you pulled the plug. Selvig. She's an energy source. We turn off the power. She turns it back on. If she reaches peak level, we prepared for this, doctor. Harnessing energy from space. We don't have the harness. My calculations are far from complete. And she's throwing off interference. Radiation. Nothing harmful. Low levels of gamma radiation. That can be harmful. Where's Agent Barton? Scoffs. The hawk up in his nest as usual. Fury on radio. Agent Barton. Report. I gave you this detail, so you could keep a close eye on things. Well, I see better from a distance. Have you seen anything that might set this thing off? Doctor, it's spiking again. Barton, no one's come or gone. And Selvig's clean. No contacts. No IMS. If there was any tampering, sir, it wasn't at this end. At this end? Music playing. Thor, now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, no. Thor's in a cage. How did this happen? Well, sometimes you have to get captured, just to get a straight answer out of somebody. It's a long story, but basically, I'm a bit of a hero. See, I spent some time on Earth, fought some robots, saved the planet a couple of times. Then I went searching through the cosmos, for some magic, colorful infinity stone things. Didn't find any. That's when I came across. The path of death and destruction, which led me all the way here into this cage, where I met you. How much longer do you think we'll be here? Chain rattling, runs, Sir Tour chuckling, Thor, son of Odin, Sir Tour, son of a bitch, you're still alive. I thought my father killed you a half a million years ago. I cannot die, not until I fulfill my destiny, and lay waste to your home. It's funny you should mention that, because I've been having these terrible dreams of late. Asgard up in flames, falling to ruins, and you, Sir Tour, are at the center of all of them. Then you have seen Ragnarok, the fall of Asgard, a great prophecy. Hang on, hang on, dash, chain creaking, I'll be back around shortly. I really feel like we were connecting there, runs. Okay, so Ragnarok, tell me about that. Walk me through it. My time has come. When my crown is reunited with the eternal flame, I shall be restored to my full might. I will tower over the mountains and bury my sword deep in Asgard's. Or, oh, hang on, give it a second. I swear I'm not even moving. It's just doing this on its own. I'm really sorry. Dash, size. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're going to put your crown into the eternal flame, and then you'll suddenly grow as big as a house. A mountain, the eternal flame that Odin keeps locked away on Asgard. Odin is not on Asgard, and your absence has left the throne defenseless. Okay, so where is it? This crown? This is my crown, the source of my power. Oh, that's a crown. I thought it was a big eyebrow. It's a crown. Anyway, it sounds like all I have to do to stop Ragnarok is rip that thing off your head. Laughs, but Ragnarok has already begun. You cannot stop it. Metal scraping. I am Asgard's doom, and so are you. All will suffer, all will burn. Hope that's intense. To be honest, seeing you grow really big and set fire to a planet would be quite itch sitting. Another one coming down. Hang on, the mask. I got those concert tickets you wanted. You're kidding. For Friday night, Stanley, this is great. What time do I pick you up? Here's the thing. My best girlfriend is here and she died to go to this. So could we get an extra ticket for her? They're sold out. That means there's no more. I can't let her sit home all alone. I'll tell you what. Go with
with your friend. I couldn't do that. No, come on. Stanley, you are the nicest guy. Really, you are. Isn't he the nicest guy? The best. That was the most sickening display I've ever seen. I disagree. I'm wearing her down. Buddy, you need a little change of pace. Tonight, I'll take you on a love safari. Deep into the darkest part of the urban jungle. Tell me more. Wanna. Coco Bongo Club. This new joint in town. Only the cream to lock green need a plot. How do we get in? Are you kidding? Leave it to me. Trust me, buddy. This will be the perfect night on the town. Hold the phone. Killer at 3 o'clock. Stand back and observe. Where do I open an account? Two accounts right here. El got a star on my car and one on my chest. A gun on my hip and the right to arrest. I'm a guy who's the boss on this highway. So watch out what you're doing when you're driving my way. Well, if you break the law, you'll hear from me. Hell no. I'm working for the state. I'm the highway patrol. Well, you'll know me when you see me cause my doors painted white. My siren a screaming and my flash in red light. I'll work all day and I'll work all night just to keep the law and order trying to do what's right. Hell, if I'll write you out a ticket, then you'd better drive slow. I'm just a doing my job. I'm the highway patrol. I'm the highway patrol. The highway patrol. My hours are long and my pay is low. I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just a doing my job. I'm the highway patrol. Meet Charlie. Helpful dad. Upstanding citizen. And an one eight year veteran of the greatest law enforcement agency in the land. The Roadland State Police. That's Charlie's home. Honest like the man. Even though he lived on the water, Charlie wasn't much of a swimmer, which will come into play a little later in our story, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. You know, maybe it's best if we just go back and begin at the beginning. As a young man, Charlie had the world by his bootstraps. He was the best young trooper on the force, and was dating the prettiest and smartest gal in town. Her name was Layla, just like the melody. Charlie, you've no idea how much I love you. Yeah, yeah, well, will you stay with me no matter what? Of course, Charlie. What if I had to move to the Arctic and you could never come home, and had to eat whale blubber for the rest of your life? Would you still stay with me? Yeah, LD stay, but I hope that never happens. Yeah, me too. Well, by springtime they had made it official. Boy, let me tell you, it was some wedding. LT was presided over by Father Ken Gumbert, and half of the Roadland State Police Force was in attendance. Congratulations, Charlie. Thank you, Captain. All right, look what L got. Here you go. Excuse me, do you people take checks? Say that again. Do we people take checks? You mean a black man? No, 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 no. God, no. Your company. Don't give me that bullshit. That was a racist slur. No, it wasn't. L would never tell you what. L will make it easy for you. Why don't you just pay me in cotton or a cartload of watermelons? Or how's about some fried chicken? Cause you know black people love fried chicken. Goddamn bugs. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Well, make the dick. What a surprise. Where are you coming from? Fishing in queer Navaka. Sure. Let's take a look at your catch. Come on. I would have thrown them back. What do you get? 100 bucks a head? 200? If you saved it all for your lawyer, you'll need it. We'll take it from here. The hell are you? Ains. Division 6. Division 6? I never heard of Division 6. Really? Are you betting on? Tough call. Hey, we've got a winner here. Oh, no. Sir, you can't. Don't sir me. Young man. You have no idea who you're dealing with. We'll chat with our friend. You hit the road. Keep on protecting us from the dangerous aliens. You ever hear of Division 6? There is no Division 6. This is bullshit. Hell, yeah. Looks like you fell off the bus in the wrong part of town. I bet you're not from anywhere near here. Mikey, Mikey, they let you out of jail. Political refugee. You know how many treaties you just violated? One. Try seven. You hand me that head. Put up your arms and flippers. Shit, shoot him. That, that was not human. No, you got some entrails on you. What the hell? The situation's under control. Give me your attention for a moment. I'll tell you what happened. This is called a neuralizer. It's a gift from friends from out of town. This red eye isolates. The brain's impulses, specifically the ones for memory. Give me a split. Do it. You got him. You got him. I only ever met one man I wouldn't want to fight. I can't stop that. Get out of here. You useless kid. When I met him, he was already the best cut man in the business. Can you stop it? Started training and managing in the 60s. He never lost his gift. Oh, let me have a look at him. He's fine. He's fine. He ain't if you don't stop this bleeding. I'll give you one more round. Seconds out. Let's go. What do we do? Tell me what to do. You let him hit you. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Cuts too wide. Too close to the bone. Maybe you got a severed vein. Or you just can't get the coagulant deep enough. Come on. Break, break. There are all kinds of combinations. You come up against. Found in the different layers of meat. And Frankie knew how to work everyone. That's it. Come on. What are you doing? Knock him out. Really? People love violence. They'll slow down at a car wreck to check for bodies. Same people claim to love boxing. They got no idea what it is. Boxing is about respect. Getting it for yourself. And taking it away from the other guy. I'll warm up the car. Mr. Dunn. I owe you money. No, sir. I know your mama. Don't rightly know, sir. Then what is it you want? I was on the undercard. I won my fight too. Maggie Fitzgerald. Well, Maggie Fitzgerald. What's up? Did you happen to see it? No, I did pretty good. Oh, you might be interested in training me. I don't train girls. Maybe you should. People see me fight say I'm pretty tough. Really? Tough ain't enough. It's a mistake. Car should be able to back up. Frankie, just push. Will you? What did Hogan want? Offered us a title shot. About time. I turned him down flat. Two or three more fights. You'll be ready. And two or three more fights for a long time now. Frankie, look, Willie, you get one shot at the title. You lose it. It may not come around again. Now, two or three more fights and we'll be ready. Whatever you say. Frankie, Frankie liked to say that boxing is an unnatural act. That everything in boxing is backwards. Sometimes. Best way to deliver a punch is step back. Well, do your best, Lord. Protect http colon slash slash subscene dot com slash you slash six five nine four three three improved by Ivan Drifla. You know how blind I am without them. Howard, don't cry. Murder. Good luck, John. Any contractions? Only the ones you give me. Okay, Jack, what's coming? Red ball, double homicide, one male, one female, killer's male, white forties. Agatha nailed the time frame at eight oh four AM. The twins are a little fuzzy on that, so we'll need confirmation. Location still uncertain. Remote witnesses are plugged in. This will be case number one thousand one hundred and eight. Good morning, detectives. Case number one thousand one hundred and eight. Visualized by the precogs. Recorded on Holosphere by Precrimes Cusax. My fellow witnesses for case number one thousand one hundred and eight are Dr. Catherine James and Chief Justice Frank Pollard. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Will the witnesses preview and validate number one thousand one hundred and eight at this time? Affirmative. I will validate. Go get him. Stand by. Time of murder, eight oh four AM. That is twenty four minutes, thirteen seconds from now. This is a red ball. You know how blind I am without them. All right, Howard Marks, where are you? Howard, Howard, breakfast. Four score and seven
today. What about your meeting? I've been working too much. Can you grab that? It's unclear. I got six licenses. Where do you want them? Over here, please. I'm very sorry. You know how blind I am without them. Got him in the Fox Hall. 4421 Gainsborough. Send a DCPD blue and white. Set up a perimeter and tell them we're en route. You know, I was thinking maybe I'd play hooky. Stay home today. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field. What do you think? As a final resting place. What about your meeting? I'll reschedule. I've been working too much anyway. Is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, good. We could have lunch together. What do you say? We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. Any place you want. I would love. I would love to. The brave men, living and dead. I have an open house at the wrestler place. Woman, good night, sweetheart. Boy, good night, mom. Man, sleep tight, kiddo. I switch clicks. Door closes. Owl hooting. Owl hooting. Ticking. Wind blowing gently. Door creaking open. Gasp softly. Wind blowing. Gasps. Wind whistling. Gurgling snarl. Screaming. Screaming louder. Oh, shrieking. Screaming. Oh, 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 oh. Shrieking. Alarm blaring. Yelps. Computer voice. Simulation terminated. Simulation terminated. Simulation terminated. Simulation terminated. Simulation terminated. All right, Mr. Vile. Is it? Uh, my friends call me Flam. Uh, Mr. Vile, can you tell me what you did wrong? I fell down? No, no. For that. Can anyone tell me Mr. Vile's big mistake? Anyone? Coughs. Groans. Let's take a look at the tape. Here we go. Uh, right. Uh, 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 there. See. The door. You left it wide open. Whimpers. All murmuring. And leaving the door open is the worst mistake any employee can make because, um, it could let in a draft. It could let in a child. Uh, Mr. Water News. There is nothing more toxic or deadly than a human child. A single touch could kill you. Leave a door open and a child could walk right into this factory. Right into the monster world. You won't go in a kid's room. You can't make me. You're going in there because we need this. Children screaming. Whimpering. Static and feedback. Screaming stops. Our city is counting on you. Pull those children's screams. Without scream, we have no power. Yes, it's dangerous work. And that's why I need you to be at your best. I need scarers who are confident, tenacious, uh, intimidating. I need scarers like, like, James P. Sullivan, snoring. Hey, good morning, monster polis. It's now 5 after the hour of 6 a.m. in the big monster city. Temperatures above me 65 degrees, which is good news for you reptiles. But it looks like it's going to be... Attic, thus they are constantly relocating their camp. That's what you guys are going to do today. Each tribe has a camp with a hut, an animal pen, flagpole, and various camp supplies. First tribe to relocate their camp up to your new home, 200 yards up the hill, and recreate it exactly as it is here, wins. Immunity. Here are the rules. Two members from each tribe will be your architects. Their job is to remember how the camp looks here and to make sure that it gets recreated exactly the same way in your new home. They will not help move the camp. They will be up at the new location, and they can only help you rebuild once your pieces have been placed inside your circle. The other members will be responsible for actually physically relocating the camp. Last rule, the flagpole is the last thing you put in. Samburu, because you guys are still one member ahead, somebody is sitting out. Once you've made that decision, send that person with your architects to the top of the hill. All right, Samburu, you're sitting out. Teresa, Brandon and Linda will be your architects. Baran, you've selected Kelly and Kim as your architects. All right, architects are in place at the top of the hill. Immunity at stake. Survivors, ready. Go, 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 go. Lift it up, lift it up. Indistinct shouts. Let's go. I got it. Lift it up. Make it steady up the hill. You guys are doing awesome. Take your time. Just go. Move it. Take your time. Indistinct talking. Come on. Let's go. Turn, turn. Come on. Turn. Back it up. Back it up. Down. K. Okay. Yeah. Little back this way. Move, Frank. Move. Let's go. Drop, drop, drop. Drop it. Indistinct shouts. Lift it up. What about the basket? Wait, wait, wait. Come on. You're doing great. Your pace is excellent. Let's go. Kim, get on it. Use your shoulders. I have it. Excellent work. Indistinct shouts. Indistinct shouts continue. You got to go act back, back. Okay. Shouts continue. Provst. Around all you have left are your roof and your flag. Samburu, you still need the walls to your hut. That goes over here. Ready? Come on. Tommy. Come on. Tommy. Indistinct shouts continue. I got it. Panting loudly. I don't know where I'm going. So lead me to victory. Guys, turn left. Girls, help with the huts. Girls, help with the huts. Okay. All right. Up, up, up. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Up, up. Lift, lift. Yells. Somebody help straighten it. No pegs. Just set it in. There. Just set it in. Probst. The house is good. House is good. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Probst. Everybody in the circle before you put that flag in. Tom. Baran. Cheer. Indistinct talking. Good job, guys. Probst. Around keeps immunity. Congratulations, guys. Cheering. Pooping. Indistinct shouts. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. Probst. See you guys tomorrow. Night at Tribal Council. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Happy birthday. This morning. Thanks. Birthday. Got up. Gave him a birthday hug. And he was whittling on his torch. And he was carving his children and his wife's name. 
I thought that was just beautiful. I grabbed my tribal council torch and I want a perfect day to maybe okay, just lie in bed, sleep in, or simply work out that flab that's hanging over the bed. Get up, silly, screaming, punking. I don't believe I ordered a wake up call, Mikey. Hey, let's talk more pain. Marshmallow boy, kill the bird, growling. You call yourself a monster, growling. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, shrieks. Little monsters, the neck bones connected to the head bone, the head bones connected to the horn bone, the horn bones right above the wing bones. Little monsters giggling, dash, growls. Uh, I scared you. No, you didn't. Okay, remember our field trip rules, everyone. Uh, no pushing, no biting, and no fire breathing. Dash, roars. What did I just say? 18, 19. Okay. Hey, we're missing one. Who are we missing? Oh, Mike Lazowski. Thanks, Joe. Good luck finishing your crossword puzzle. Sorry, Michael. I didn't see you. That's okay. When I was on the bus, I found a nickel. I wish I had pockets. Okay, everyone. Partner up. Get your field trip buddy. Jeremy, you and me. Okay, no biggie. Ailey, no. Pairing up with Claire. Great choice. She's a good egg. Russell. Mike Lazowski. We carpool. We're cousins. Both hey. Okay, good catching up. Well, Michael, it looks like it's you and me again. Agrees nervously. Little monsters chattering excitedly. Come on, Karen. We're falling behind. Laughing. Please don't call me Karen. Tour guide. Now, stay close together. We're entering a very dangerous area. Welcome to the scare floor. Little monsters. Wow. Male monster Chattering on VA. Workers chattering indistinctly. Tour guide, this is where we collect the scream energy to power our whole world. Dash, all gas. And can anyone tell me whose job it is to go get that scream? All, scarers. That's right. Now, which one of you can give me the scariest roar? All, me, me, me. Oh, sir. Right here. Little green guy. Dash, two o'clock. Dash, roars. No, it's like this. Roars. Hey, guys, watch this one. Dash, roars. Hey, I got a really good. Both roaring. Roars loudly. All, gasping. Wow, whoa. Well, hey there, kids. Are you on a tour with your school? Yeah. MRS Graves. Yes. We're here to learn about scream energy and what it takes to be a scarer. Well, hey, you're in luck because I just happen to be a scarer. I learned everything I know from my school. My Monsters University. Whoa, it's the best scaring school there is. You wish. Fear text the best. Okay, you guys watch us and tell me which. Fighted by explosive skull https colon slash slash twitter.com slash kaboom's call. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engines running. Lift off. We have lift off on Apollo 11. Fuel and oxygen steady. Cabin holding. Power is good. Altitude is 4 miles now. Velocity 2195 feet per second. Good radar data. Altitude now 33,500 feet. How are you looking? All your systems go. Here I go. In time. Here I go to continue power descent. Uh, Houston, I'm getting a little fluctuation. And, Eagle, Houston, we got data dropouts. Three feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. Okay, engine stop. The Eagle has landed. Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. But bless the rains down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things we never had. What does it even mean? You miss the rains down in Africa? The lyrics are, I bless the rains down in Africa. But no, they're not. Yes, they are. Makes even less sense. Well, I should know. Because I karaoke did at my wedding. Uh, well, I must have missed that. I was in the zone, tearing it up on the dance floor. You can't dance to save your life. Anyone ever tell you guys? Bigger like an old married couple? That's cause she's my work wife. Back to work. Okay. Could ever do. I miss the rain down in Africa. I would like to thank you for spending your honeymoon in space with us. It was either space or Italy. But Italy doesn't beat this view. I miss the rains. Down in Africa. Ryan. Oh my god. I miss the rains down in Africa. What the hell is that? Ryan. Marcus. Help me. I'm losing air. I'm losing air. Ryan. Joe. Color. Come in. Help me. Marcus. Oh god. Okay. Hang on. Marcus. Marcus. Come in. Marcus. Marcus. Ah damn it. Come on. Come on. No. Marcus. No. I'm gonna get you home. Our viewers might remember the accident that happened. During a routine. Wind whistling. Birds chirping. Thunder rumbling in distance. Water drips echoing. Bats skittering. Helicopter whirring. Men yelling indistinctly in Spanish. We shouldn't be here when it gets dark. Set the trap at the mouth of the cave, please. Men speaking in Spanish. Winces. Pilot, you need a doctor? Chuckle softly. I am a doctor. It's impressive, don't you think? Vampire bats weigh almost nothing. They can down a creature nearly ten times their size. Flies buzzing. Wow, what are you using as big? You volunteering? Leaving. Trap clanks. Pay me now. Before the sun goes down, you throw in that bush crafter on your belt and we have a deal. Groan softly. All chittering. Screeches. Bats screeching. Shouts in Spanish. Yelling in Spanish. Come on. Bell tolling. Students laughing. Chattering. Boom. Ticking. Car horn honks. Nicholas should be able to take better care of you here. Car door closes. Car drives away. Everyone's here to help you. Michael, this is Lucian. Lucian, Michael. Michael knows more about this place than I do. Whispers play nice. Lucian, hello, hello, Milo. My name's Lucian. The person who was here before was Milo. No, it was also the new Milo. And before him was the other new Milo. I don't even remember the first Milo. How long have you been here? Long as I can remember. Machine beats and worse. And you're still not cured? There is no cure. There's something missing from our DNA. Like a piece of a puzzle. And until they find it, the only way to stay alive is an oil change three times a day. What? Hello, it's at home. I'm 100 yards from the top of MT Everest. Yet there's a part of me that can't wait to end this silly vacation and get back to work where the real challenges await. Shouldn't you take your age into consideration, sir? After all, you're 82 years old. Am I 82? These numbers mean nothing to me. My journey through life has just begun. Sir, sir. Oh, it tells me the storm's getting worse. Very, very bad. We must abandon our ascent and go down the mountain immediately. We're so very close to the top, Mr. Puffy Jacket Man. I'm heading down now, sir. I advise you to do the same. All right, so be it. See you at the staff meeting on Monday. I'll bring the Krispy Kremes. There, once again, sad footage we've been watching all day. A beloved visionary who turned a single radio station into a global media empire. Preston Blake at 82. Or after this, you're watching the Blake Broadcasting Network. The stock of Blake Media, the parent company of this network, lunch this morning on the news of Blake's death. But bounced back after a statement by Blake's longtime number two. Chuck Cedar, all the king's horses and all the king's men didn't save Preston Blake from becoming a human popsicle, and sources indicate that Blake, who was single and had no children, but no will, so who inherits Blake's 49% stake in the company's stock, valued at $40 billion, we'll discuss that with people close to Blake, including his longtime barber, on tomorrow's Inside Access, until then, I'm Mac McGrath, are we
is here yet? You should be getting that information via fax any minute now. I have lawyers looking through birth records in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and Guam. In fact, we have a little pool going. I'm paying off at 1,000 to 1. Is this a joke to you? Some genetic lottery winner now controls the fate of this company. No, I agree. It's troubling. Troubling. Your beard is troubling. Salutations. Snack. On second thought. 9-1-1. Police. Civic authorities. ASPCA. ASAP. Murder. Betrayal. Kidnap. No. Birdnap. A cup of garlic. A twist of parakeet. Eat your heart out. Julia Child. Excuse me, but isn't it customary for the jailbird to get one telephone call? In your case, I think not. Afternoon snacks have few civil liberties, but I'm not wholly without heart. How about a nice soothing cigarette? Oh, I will not do this. I cannot. Oh, what a foul way for a bird to die. I don't want to get beat cancer. No. My lungs are blackened. Here we go again. Cut, cut, cut. Roll it back. Help me. What are you doing? Daniel. That line is not in the script. Why did you add it? I wanted to comment on the situation. What situation? Shoving a cigarette into Punchy's mouth is morally irresponsible. This is a cartoon, not a freaking Oprah Winfrey special. Lou, billions of kids see this cartoon. It's like telling them light up. You can't put words in Punchy's mouth if his mouth isn't moving. It's voiceover. An interior monologue. Maybe even the voice of God. Punchy, don't smoke. Actors, what? Let's ask the technicians. Do you think it's morally right to promote smoking to the youth of America? They're biased. That's a mistrial. This session costs the studio thousands. If you want a paycheck, stick to the script. If you want to play Gandhi, then do it on somebody else's time. Then I've got to do what I've got to do. That's very funny. Where the hell are you going? If you leave, we're not coming back in. I'm not talking any crap from you, pal. Well, the words of Porky Pig. Soft Lou. So what about that history test? Don't ask. Did you have fun in school? I painted a picture of a rainbow. Dad, daddy, daddy. I thought you couldn't pick us up. Well, I got off early. You mean you got fired? No, I quit. For reasons of conscience. Actors, dude, congratulations on your 12th birthday. Not a surprise for ya. Yeah, a stripper? Oh, please. Two strippers. Ooh, ha. Wait, a party? Yes. No. No parties. Mom said you couldn't have one because of your report card. Mom's not gonna be home for another four hours, is she? Prepare yourself for the Wild Kingdom. Coming up toward the very end. There she goes. And she wins that race. Come on off now. Here we go. You want to feed him? See if this guy will. Sorry. Get out. Gregory, Henderson, and Hillard. Or, hey, watch it. Oh, come on. Hey, Mike. Hey, Larry. How you doing? Have you seen Nicky? I'm pretty sure he went with Erica. It was half day today. Current career day. Hey, hey. Come on in. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't anybody tell me it was career day? What do you mean? Nicky said he was gonna tell you. Oh, okay. I guess he forgot. Here he is. How are you? Larry. Good. How are you doing? Uh, good. Can you believe this weather? Chilly. Right. Chilly. Chilly. Chilly Willie the penguin. Leave me alone. Hey. Why don't I go tell the little corncob you're here? Great. Great. That's great. Yeah. Thanks. Wow. Her fiance really manages to squeeze a lot onto that belt. Stop it. What? What? No. It's like he's the Batman of stockbrokers. Bond trader. Bond trader. Sorry. Hey. How's it going with that virtual reality driving range that you wanted to open? Getting there, still waiting for the technology to catch up. It's not easy. There are a lot of moving parts. Hey, do you think Nick would like Queens? Oh, no, Larry, you didn't get evicted again, did you? I didn't get evicted. I didn't get evicted. No, I mean, I didn't. No, I didn't get evicted yet. It's like, Larry, listen to me. I don't know how much more Nikki can take. Every couple months, it's a new career, a new apartment. If it wasn't for Nikki, I wouldn't say anything. I would stay out of it. It's just, it's too much instability. It's not good for him. I'm trying to figure things out right now. Okay, you know, I don't think that Nikki should stay with you. But just until you get really settled. Hey, Dad, hey, ready to carve it up. Cool. All right, good. Take it, Nikki. Take it. Before the end of the season last year, and then re-injured it in spring training on a terrific game-saving play. You know, I was talking with. What time is this going on? 7:30 is the pregame. You say was pitching. Kim's pitching. Goddamn Cuban. Can hurl it. I hate to be facing him. Who are they playing? Yankees. Yankees. Imagine a 92 mile an hour fastball coming at you. You don't have time to think. Hey, guys. What kind of night you think this will have? It's been hot lately. He gets on base twice tonight. Gets on base twice. I'll paint your porch. I'll save the sewer. Hold on. I'll get it. Sorry, guys. I guess I don't know my own strength. You know what, Dave? That must be it. Hey, you guys know what would be really cool? But driving a car. You know, just around the block. Yeah. Anyone on the street keep their keys in their car? I steal a car, my dad will kill me. Just around the block. Who said steal? Your dad kill you for writing your name too. See, now it'll be there forever. Me too. Forever. Let me ask you something. You brats think it's okay to destroy municipal property? Come here. Get over here. Well, do you? No, sir. No, sir. No, no. What, sir? You're the hard case of the group. Uh, a pack of punks. Uh, you live around here? Right there. You. Right over there. How about you? Where do you live, son? Rester Street. Is your mother home? We're gonna go have a talk with her. Tell her what her punk kid's been up to. Get in. Get the fuck inside. In. You kids go tell your mothers what you've been up to. And don't let me catch you shits ruining my sidewalks again. What do you mean? I put Dave in a car. The cop. He had a gold batch. How do you know it was a cop? See anything on the batch? No, no writing. He had a uniform on, like a regular police uniform. He was a cop. He took David. So, what were you guys doing? You wrote our names in the cement. You're writing in cement and playing hockey. But they took Dave. That doesn't make sense. Come on. Is there something wrong? Dad, please. No more. Please. No more. Please. Have you seen him? Looks like damaged goods to me. Jesus. You took some good swings today. Dad, I struck out. Good swings, though. That's what counts. I'll never be a good ball player. Hey, you're my son. Hey, Dave Boyle. Star shortstop. Trinity High School. 1978 to 82. We're gonna be a keyboard typing. The Senji can't get enough. Mumbling. To move out and leave Staten Island forever. Groans. Message chimes. Chuckles. Phone ringing. Good morning. What are you doing? Besides stalking JP, of course. B, I'm reading the news. Thank you very much. Oh, you're reading the news. You're such a good liar. Seriously, how do you know I'm stalking JP? Because I know you very, very well. Oh, wait, did you tell your mom about Cal Arts yet? Yeah, I told her. She's super excited for me to move across the country and go to a really expensive art school. Really? No, 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 I haven't found. I haven't found the right time to tell her. Message beeps. Sydney, oh, nerve is starting. Sorry, this is really important. What's nerve? Sydney, it's a game. Here, just click on the video. Computer voice, welcome to nerve New York City. Nerve is a 24 hour game. Like truth or dare, minus the truth. Watchers pay to watch. Players play to win. Cash and glory. Are you a watcher or a player? Are
rules yet, and she doesn't even care. You know what? Sydney doesn't have to care. She has a trust fund created and encoded by Bokutix of www.efi-torrents.com. Haunted my wife and two daughters, Joseln and Sages. Name to be on that, or not only now, the strength that even, when I leave, you know, I want it to be carried with me. They were with me all the time, so it was important for me to do that. I'll tell you one thing. We could have used Carl yesterday. We might have won. Oh, yeah. I bet you tactically they were wondering about that. But I think you can get some mileage. Frank, if you fly low, you can get there. If I get there I think I'm going to go behind enemy lines. Are you? Just to stir things up. It's nice to be walking. Some place for fun, isn't it? What a change. What a difference. We kicked ass in that challenge and we won. And it saved Kim's life. Words can't express how happy I am. I mean, I could just stand here and cry. I'm so happy. And the thing that makes me really happy is that I think they're all happy about it, even personally, or me. We've won immunity, and the other team is going to tribal council, so we have to hold day to ourselves, no chores, so we decided to explore a little bit. When our tribe climbed up that mountain, you know, I got that feeling back about why what was really important and why I was there. Everyone is happy and the tribe is happy, and we're all having fun. And it was just so pleasant, it was like, we're here, like, we're in Africa. Tribe, you've seen the promised land. It's obviously D-Day. Um, we go to tribal council this evening. We know it's either going to be myself, T or Frank that's going to go. I wish it had been me who had been voted for, because it wouldn't have bothered me at all. I was just kind of sitting there relaxing, and everyone started opening up very neutrally and casually. I think tonight will be better. I think we're calmer, yet, yeah, and we understand what's going on a little bit better. And I won't be voted out, laughs. So who's going tonight, since we're so open? Yeah, I like that. Well, hey, I know this sounds crazy. We know it's one of us. Wouldn't you rather know if it's gonna be you? We're not gonna tell you. We're not gonna tell you. Just hold off because I agree with Brandon. Let me just throw this out. I don't I don't want this day to be bad. Let me throw this out. And I don't want the day to be bad anyway. But let's just be real here that we're playing the game. Lindsay already has four votes against her. If you ever go into tribal council with a tie, like myself and someone else, the tiebreaker who has the most votes is out. None of us have one vote against us. Not one. Except for Lindsay. Except for Lindsay this is the key. As of this moment, this is the key. I never thought I'd say, vote for me three times tonight. Come on. But it will help us. It'll help us in the end as long as I don't get voted for you know once the merger happens whoever is being voted off tonight should vote for Lindsay and what's in it for us nothing please stick with us on this and just think about it and vote for Lindsay I'll be honest I care but like if I'm the person who's going this evening I'm not going to do that because there's totally nothing in it for me well they wouldn't say who's going tonight but they had a plan they wanted us to follow you know us now it's just it's funny that's all would you rather bring the whole ship down with you, or would you rather save your ship? The whole ship is not coming down. That's the point, Linda. I do not want to see Silas win the million dollars. I can see any of the other three win the million dollars, but I don't want him winning the million dollars. I do The best 720p slash 1080p slash 3D movies with the lowest file size on the internet. Man, this walk is exactly what you need. You've been coiled up like a spring. I don't even know who you are anymore. It's a big meeting. I think you'd be a little nervous. I don't get nervous, Dan. I get excited. Please don't tell the story. You're a people person, Charlie. It's wonderful. But in business meetings, you tell personal items from my life. It embarrasses me. Girls, girls, girls. Dog grunts. At 10 miles. Laughs. Groans. I'm sorry. Lucky. I think he's too old for sprints. I can hear his legs clicking. Those are my knees. Do you really think I tell that story for my own amusement? I do it because it's a sales tool. Charlie, let's win this account on our pitch. It's sports marketing. You need an itch. I don't want to be the itch. Hey, mister. Little help. Sure thing. Guys. Boy grunts. Charlie, whoa. Boy, uh, oh, oh, oh. Why did you do that? My bad. Sorry. I didn't mean to. You're a monster. And I'm sorry. You're allergic to anything under four feet. You're a mess. Promise you won't tell the story. Fine. I won't tell the story. Charlie, okay. You guys want to hear the greatest Dan Rayburn story ever? Dan no, don't, please. Come on, Danny. All right. Seven years ago, Dan's divorce had just come through, and his ex-wife had left his heart in tatters, and his bank account drained. Tell them that. Speaking Japanese, he was taking it pretty well. That's good. You're taking it like a man. Stiff upper lip. Getting smart. What? Oh, God. Charlie, people say I saved my partner's life that day. Wailing. So many people get divorced once, and neither one of you wanted kids. Now that seems like a stroke of genius. That didn't console him. I had to act. I had to do something. Mr. Good Time is going to teach you how to live. Yeah. Why are there two pieces of luggage? Oh, just a little jaunt. Nothing too wild. And screams. Hey, Mr. Good Times. You said we'd come to Miami. We did. Can we go home now? Siren sound. Whoa, whoa, yeah, does this drink come with a diving board? It's insane. Just a sip. Keyboard clicking. Turn to your right. That's it, sir, you're done. Please follow the orange line. Door opens. Door shuts. You process the roll of film we found in your bag, Mr. Parrish. They're not very pretty pictures. Also, you left.
the camera in the hotel. They processed that role as well. Can I see them? That's not a courtesy, Mr. Parrish. This is evidence. Do you guys have your own lab or do you have to send it out? We have a lab. Your legal aid should be here within 30 minutes or so. You understand you don't have to talk to me until she gets here. If you don't want to, you know that, don't you? Good. That's why can I ask you one question? Sure. Was it about William Yorkin that upset you so? I mean, what did he do to provoke all of this? Children laughing. Family photos depict smiling faces. Birds. Weddings. Holidays. Happy birthday. Children's birthday parties. People take pictures of the happy moments in their lives. Someone looking through our photo album could conclude that we had led a joyous leisurely existence. Free of tragedy. No one ever takes a photograph of something they want to forget. Hey, we gotta go. Sure, you don't need my help. Yeah. Sorry, kiddo, I gotta work. Doesn't matter. I'll get takeout for dinner. Wild and long ago, the world was full of wonder. Winning. It was adventurous. Exciting. And best of all, there was magic. Boom, Bastia asks. Kids exclaim. Wild and, and that magic helped all in need. Flame Inferno. Dash. Both grunting. Dash. Growling. Grunts. Walter Thunday Sitter. Exclaiming. Yelping. Wild and, but it wasn't easy to master. And so the world found a simpler way to get by. I call it the light bulb. All gasped. Is so easy. Laughs. Uh, crowd gasps. Dash. Chuckles. Dash. Applauds. Wild and, over time. Magic faded away. Grunts. Snarls. But I hope. Alarm ringing. There's a little magic left in you. Upbeat music playing on speakers. Fitness cyclops on speakers. All right. We're gonna get warriors E95. Let me hear you say. I'm a mighty warrior. I'm a mighty warrior. Morning. Mob. Yipping. Groans. Oh. Blazy. Down. Bad dragon. Back to your lair. Happy birthday, Mr. Adult Man. No. Mob. Hey, buddy. Don't wipe off my kisses. Gasp softly. What? You're wearing your dad's sweatshirt. Oh. You know. Finally fits. Ah. My little chubby cheeks is all grown up. Okay. Okay. Mom. I gotta eat something before school. Ah. We don't have much food. I still have to go to the grocery store. Ah. Hands off, mister. Those are for your party tonight. It's not a party. Mom. It's just us. You could invite those kids from your science class. You said they seem pretty rockin'. I'm uh, pretty sure I didn't say it like that. And besides, I don't even know them. Well, your birthday's a day to try new things. Be the new you. Dash, worrying. Speaking of trying new things, did you sign up for driving practice? No. Clears throat. No. I know you're a little scared to drive, sweetie pie, but I'm not scared. Mom, I'm gonna move Barley's game. Laurel, okay, but you know how he gets when someone touches that board. Dash, thuds, gasps. Well, he's gotta learn how to clean up his toys. Paul, dash, gasps. Does my brother dare disrupt an active campaign? Oh, come on. You know, Ian, in the days of old, a boy of 16 would have his strength tested. In the swamps, all of life is a coming home. Salesmen, secretaries, coal miners, beekeepers, sword swallowers, all of us. All the restless hearts of the world, all trying to find a way home. It's hard to describe what I felt like then. Picture yourself walking for days in a driving snow. You don't even know you're walking in circles. The heaviness of your legs in the drifts. Your shouts disappearing into the wind. How small you can feel. How far away home can be. Home. The dictionary defines it as both a place of origin and a goal or destination. And the storm. A storm was all in my mind. Or, as the poet Dante put it, in the middle of the journey of my life, I found myself in a dark wood. For I had lost the right path. Eventually, I would find the right path in the most unlikely place. How many fingers do you see? A crazy stop sneaking up on me like that. How many? Four. 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 Another idiot. You gone love it here. Got a new one. Jane. Hunter Adams. Self-committed, suicidal, slate him with Dr. Pratt. All right, hey, Rudy, what's the word, my man? He ain't left that bed in three weeks. He won't give you any trouble. He needs another bedpan. They're in the closet. Wake up is 7 o'clock a.m. Excuse me, is there any way I could have my own room? Oh, absolutely. Just call the concierge and ask for a suite overlooking the fountain. No, I prefer the cabana room. Get some sleep. Ha, ha, or, um, you're a lot fuzzier than my last roommate. Oh, yeah, it's me warm. Ah, uh, what's wrong? Get him away. Get what away? Get him, get him away. Okay, I'm gonna have to. You traitor. You brought him with you when you opened the door. We need help in here. Somebody. All right. Oh, no, no, they'll get me. Don't take me down. They'll get me. No, don't let the squirrels get me. Please, don't let the squirrels get me. That was a squirrel bite. Squirrels. My father died when I was nine. He was in the army. He wasn't home very much. Two weeks before he died, he told me that in the Korean War, he felt like he'd lost his bells clanking, cows mooing, meowing. Man, Adela, where are you? Boy, did you get that rabbit? Did you? I'll bet you did. My mighty hunter, you vicious killer. That's my dog. That's my beast. Door closing. Come on, give me a kiss. Lines. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Adela, can you call yourself security? Arts. Vehicle approaching. Don't change the subject. Radio. Love child by the Supremes. Radio turns off. Man, love child. Hey, George. Born in poverty. You gonna just stand there or you gonna help me with these boxes? Now what have you got me carrying? I've got a deal on solar panels and batteries. Well, I told you I wasn't doing any more improvements on the house. I'm selling this place someday. Yeah, right. But I see you improved the garden anyway. Yeah, and that goddamn rabbit still got in there. Chuckles. I told you. He went under your fence. George. He did not. He did too. I put that fence a foot and a half underneath the ground. Well, it's a mystery, George. Anyway, the solar outfit is going to save you money, and it's free. So happy birthday. Thanks. Hey, thank you. Laughing. Sus. Who's gonna put it together? Not me. It comes with a manual in three different languages. Get it? Look, if it's a car, I can fix it. If it's in the garden, I probably can grow it. But this is way out of my neighborhood. Hey, you. Are you bringing a date tonight? No. You. Well, I'm thinking of a skin somebody. Then today. You don't give him much notice to you. Well, you even ask anybody? Huh? I always ask Diana Ross. She never says yes to me. Radio. The Supremes. To you. See you later. The Supremes that you never ever gonna return. To ease the fire that within me burns. It keeps me crying baby. For you. It's me sighing baby. For you. So won't you hurry. Come on. Boy see about me. Truck horn honks. Come see about me. George hey. Don't see about your baby. Come see about me. Hey. George. George. I forgot to tell you. And T. Elamoel doctor. Ah uh, ah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. T. Elamoel doctor. Doctor called. It's Hales Baines. Will you let me figure it out? Dice K. Alas DS. At 10. At 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. K. K. Dejo. K. Dejo. He want you K. Y. Is a sub antenna. At 10 o'clock. K. Y. Is a sub antenna. Ventana, 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 Ventana. He wants you to look at his window. And how you doing, Lace? You look great. Yeah. How are the chairs selling? I got one left. I need four more. I was bruised and battered. I couldn't tell what I felt. I was unrecognizable to myself. Saw my reflection in a window and didn't know
fate, brother, with your faithless kiss, or will we leave each other alone like this? On the streets of Philadelphia, this pestilent dust that counselor refers to has appeared on only three occasions. Each time it was tested, and the results, limestone, it's messy, but innocuous, innocuous, defined by Webster's as harmless. I know what it means. May I thank you, your honor. Imagine how the children in this neighborhood are being made to feel a constant pounding of construction, ringing in their ears, as this skyscraper, a tribute to mankind's greed, grows daily, casting an ominous shadow over their lives, filling them with dread, even as they are surrounded by this toxic dust. Your honor, candle construction, builds neighborhoods, it doesn't destroy them, granting a restraining order against this construction site will throw 753 Philadelphians out of work and lend validation to this contemptible and groundless nuisance suit. It's an example of the rapacious litigation that today is peering at the very fabric of our society. Let's not go off the deep end. Gentlemen, you've made an articulate and compelling presentation. Mr. Miller, I don't believe you've proven irreparable harm. Not yet, Your Honor. 942, whereas decedent of trade name without, without complete approval. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Miller, yes. Hello, Iris. Client of yours. Money. Hold on, Iris. Excuse me, sir. Sir, yo, yo. My sons and I went to a restaurant the other day. He ordered coffee. The waiter comes up and goes, here's the literature. Could you like sugar or sweet and low? He said, do I look like I should be on a diet? Oh, God. Andy, ha, ha. Your blood work came back this morning. I'm going to come back in a few minutes. And surrender playing. Mother told me. Yes, she told me that I'd meet girls like you. She also told me. Stay away. You'll never know what you'll catch. Tires screeching. Cooper, it's open. It's open. Come on. It's supposed to be awesome. Cooper, thank you. Hey, give me back my quarters. You hoser. Mom, they just seem a little weird. Surrender. Surrender. But don't give yourself away. Whatever happened to all the seasons? Losers of the year? Every time I got to thinking, where'd they disappear? But when I woke up, mom and dad are rolling on the couch. Damn. What? I saw. Mommy's all right. Daddy's all right. They just seem a little weird. Cooper. Wow. Sam. How are you so good at this? You've never even played it before. I don't know. There's a pattern to how they're moving. Watch. I don't see it. You sure as hell do. Away. Surrender. Surrender. But don't give yourself away. Surrender. Surrender. But don't give yourself away. Use the force. Use the force. Mechanical hand whirring. Hearing. Renner. Hey, shoot. Cooper. You're a superstar, dude. And it's time to show the world. Surrender. But don't give yourself away. Surrender. Surrender. But don't give yourself away. Man. On PA system. Attention. All contestants. The competition will start in 15 minutes. You too. That's so funny. Really. I think you're pretty darn foxy yourself. Lady Lisa. I'll love you till the end of time. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Softly. We'll talk later. You're Ludlow Laman Soft. A wonder kid. Right. Who told you that? The government. Cause I'm this close to figuring out the secret of the Bermuda Triangle. Wow. You don't have any friends, do you? Just my grandma. Yoo hoo. Well, wonder kid. You can hang out with us. Really. People exclaiming. What's up, geeks and goobers? They call me the fire blaster. Cause my hands are blazing fast. And also, I will blast and burn all my competitors' weak ass moves. It must be the local talent. If this was a fugly contest, I'd be in trouble. At least we didn't make up our own nicknames. Fire blaster. Who cares who came up with it? It's totally tubular. Welcome, gamers, to the first annual Worldwide Video Arcade Championships. Cheering. Tonight, we have representatives here from the Guinness Book of World Records, as well as NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, who will be videotaping tonight's competition. Be included in a compilation of 1982's news events and popular culture. That videotape will be placed in a space. Went through the crap. Our 12th edition of the Psychic Friends Network, Shea Stadium. We're watching TV time. The only network playing lots of old stuff in nothing but black and white. Like, it's fun for the whole family. TV time, remember, you're soaking in it. This Friday on TV time, take the phone off the hook and the plastic off the couch. That's right, it's the Pleasantville Marathon. 24 hours chock full of pure family values. Featuring the warm greeting. Honey, I'm home. Upper nutrition. Do you want some more cookies? And, of course, safe sex. Why? It's a scrapbook of all your favorite Pleasantville memories. There's trouble at the barber shop. Fireman for a day. A big game. And who could forget but gets a job. So join all your favorites. Mary Sue, Bud, George, and Betty. No, yes, Mr. Johnson at the soda shop. But wait, there's more. If you put your thinking caps on, you could win $1,000 in our Pleasantville trivia contest. Plus a free trip to the Pleasantville of your choice. Flash back to Kinder, Gentler Times, on the Pleasantville Marathon. This Friday only on. I mean, uh, look, you probably don't think I should be asking you this. I mean, not knowing you well and all. I, I mean, I know you. Everybody knows you. I just don't know you. Technically, anyhow, I don't know what you're doing this weekend. My mom's leaving town, and she's letting me borrow the car. So, you know, okie dokie. So just give me a call. Let me know. Uh, for those of you going on to college next year, the chance of finding a good job will actually decrease by the time you graduate. The available number of entry level jobs over at Charlie. Dr. Holloway. Charlie. What? Come, come quick. Did you date a 35? Don't trust him at all. There's something. There's something up there. I'm not even sure of his name. There's just something not quite right. One of the three of you has to go. I mean, I don't know. Frank and Linda, how do you guys feel? If I'm going, I'd rather know. The minute we told you and we were about to be honest with you, you said, what's in it for me? So why in the world would we go ahead and finish? That was a bitter taste in the mouth right there. I really don't know which way they're going, but I guess there's a reason they could keep each one of us and a reason they could decide to take each one of us off. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. There's not an event in the future that would alarm me. I can't wait until the merge because I plan on winning this. You might as well write the check and hand it to me because I'm shooting for the stars. And and I'm going to get there. Probst, well, guys, back for a second time in a row. Let's go back to the first time you were here. Pretty intense dialogue was had when you went back to camp that night. Was there any of the bonding that you guys talked about making the tribe one again? The first night, you know, there was some emotional times. Right after the council, feelings were hurt, you know. None of us know how it feels except Lindsay to get a vote against you. And so that was hard, Jeff. But after that, the second day, much better. 
We came together as a unit. Probst, rank after the last immunity challenge. You guys knew you were coming back to tribal council. What happened when you went back to camp? What was the tone of the tribe? Were you guys concerned? Well, obviously the three of us, you know, we knew one of us would be going. Probst, the three of you, referring to Linda and Teresa. To Linda, Teresa, and myself. There are two tribes within one. Still, Probst, it's surprising to me, because it's the first time I've ever seen this. I'm trying to figure out where the logic to this is because going into a merge you need numbers is there a sure thing in this whole game jeff can you tell me one sure thing about this whole entire game probst i can tell you just one probst yeah i can tell you one sure thing if samburu goes into a merge with four people solid and one not solid and baran goes in with five people solid samburu is in trouble that i can tell you for certain jeff you need to take into consideration if i wasn't here Tonight, there we go. One of us would be going. It would be the same thing. It would be the exact same thing but reversed. Probst, Frank, anything you can do to turn this game around. At this point, oh, there's always something to do. It's just waiting for the proper opening, you know, to happen. Probst, so you have a game plan? Absolutely. Probst, you're sticking to it. Mm hmm. Probst, Lindsay, have you made any mistakes so far? Anything that? Oh, tons. I'm a walking mistake. You know, when you hear things, oh, you're the one. That's next. Next, no, Kim's next, oh, no, it's Brandon, you, Anik, and I brought some negative energy to the group because I was frustrated and fed up and I freaked out about the whole manipulative process and the panic attacks and the feelings of anxiety like you're the one that's going to go next. And, you know, you lose sight of reality because it's not reality, it's just a game and we're trying to keep that in perspective and I'm awful at it. Because I'm sensitive, I get my feelings hurt. Probst, Brandon, have you ever taken a walk by yourself and thought, okay, wait a minute, I don't do anything by myself, I'm always with them. I wasn't here, maybe older, you gotta be kidding me, it's the same configuration, I mean, it's gotta predate the others by millennia, I think they want us to come and find them, what happened to that man, he died, why aren't you helping them, they don't want my help, their god is different than ours, why did he die, because sooner or later, everyone does, like mummy, like mummy, where do they go, everyone has their own word, heaven, paradise, whatever it's called, it's someplace beautiful, how do you know it's beautiful, because that's what I choose to believe, and what do you believe, Ali, good morning, David, transmitting message, no response, whilst this manner of articulation is attested in the Indo-European descendants, as a purely paralinguistic form, it is phonemic in the ancestral form, dating back five millennia or more, now let's attempt Schleicher's Fable. Repeat after me. Perfect. Mr. Lawrence. Yes. Flimsy. Sir. Thank you. You do that once too often. It's only flesh and blood. Michael George Hartley. You're a philosopher. And you're barming. It damn well hurts. Certainly. It hurts. Well, what's the trick? And the trick William Potter is not minding that it hurts. The trick William Potter is not minding that it hurts. The trick William Potter is not minding that it hurts. Attention. Destination threshold. Attention. Destination threshold. Attention. Destination threshold. Probe. How long? Two years. Four months. Eighteen days. Thirty-six hours. Fifteen minutes. Any casualties? Casualties. At GCC Northeast. We have the largest cellular network in the five state. Join the fun at MondoNet. You get instant access to your friends. Coast to coast connectivity, important conversations, set your spirit free with services 24 hours a day. Now you can be at your computer, anywhere on our network, has nothing to do with me. Okay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Ziegler, Ziegler, excuse me. Ziegler, Zyke, Ziegler, my boy, hook me up. Okay, I mean, I'm talking now. Three passwords, two, like, over 100 sites. So we're talking. Thank you. Horny coeds, Japanese girls in bondage and, what, tranny trannies. Okay, he did not just say that. I never looked at him. Okay, I'm just saying, I have the passwords. He totally looked. You know he did. I call it having access to information. It's called having a girlfriend. Come on, like sounds. Let's go. Okay, mic down, mic down. There you go, now go. You'd think I've never done this. Ready, hey, wait a second. Ready, five, four, three, I, I'm Angela Vidal. Come with us tonight as we travel along with, sorry, okay, ready, yeah, wait a second. You got a little hair thing. Hold on, let me get that, that right there. Okay, here we go, thank you, okay, hold on, okay, ready, hi, I'm Angela Vidal. Come with us tonight as we paint the town red on the night shift. Sorry, a little off my A game. I'll get there, that wasn't bad. The second part just seemed a little pushed. Tonight's night shift, we're in Los Angeles, traveling along with that special breed of hero we like to call the fire department. We should have come earlier. It could be going with them. Well, that's cool. You got it? Yeah, that's great. That was perfect. We'll wait for them to get back. You prefer Bob or Robert? Bob's good. Bob, okay, sorry. Ready? Okay, yeah, three, two, one. Tell us, Bob, what's a normal night here at the station? This might surprise most people. 85% of the calls we go out on are medical. It can be anything from chest pain to more serious things. How do you handle that with ambulances and hospitals? Most ambulances you see are fire department. I didn't know that. Yeah, and most firefighters are also paramedics. At least, that's the direction it's going. One more question, something I'm sure we're all wondering. Do firefighters still slide down those fabulous poles? They sure do. No turning back. Tell my mom I loved her. Hey, that's not so bad. I'm glad I didn't wear a skirt. That could really hurt your legs. Tell me, Bob, how do you get down? 
down when you're wearing a skirt. Pantyhose, hell. Pantyhose. That's what they wear under there. But they're turnouts. Exactly. Pantyhose. Fire retardant pantyhose. You heard it here. Can I do it one more time? It's a new day. We all can agree that the sun shines. Talk to you absolutely free. It is running water. Fresh as morning dew. No matter who's the leader. When the sun sets down, it's gone. Charlie Brown. So race for your life. Take a chance. Cause there's no second dance. Till it's a new day. I'll tell you a secret. You're about to face a test. And you have to do your best. Don't forget. Just remember. Just remember. Don't forget. Your life is free as running water. Fresh as morning dew. No matter who's the winner. If you try, we're behind you. Charlie Brown. Race for your life. 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 Charlie Brown. Did you see that? She stuck her tongue out at me. I waved at that little kid and she stuck her tongue out at me. But if I could get off this bus, I'd go back there and punch her lights out. Bang. Why are we stopping here? Hey, Chuck, you've had a blowout or something. I'm going to bring down her window shades. I'm going to dim her outlook and shorten her lifespan. I'm going to rearrange her landscape. On the other hand, I didn't know. She was going to bring her gang with her. I'll confuse her with a silent but dignified route. My grandma and your grandma sit in by the fire. My grandma said to your grandma, I'm gonna set your flag on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, eco eco on day. Jokomo fina and aim. Jokomo fina and aim. Look at my king all dressed in red. Eco eco on day. Bet you five dollars he'll kill you dead. Jokomo fina and aim. Talking about hey now, hey now, eco eco on day. Jokomo fino and aim. Jokomo fina and aim. My flag boy and your flag boy sit in by the fire. My flag boy said to your flag boy, I'm gonna set your flag on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, eco eco on day. Jokomo fina and aim. Jokomo fina and aim. Jokomo fina and aim. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. Jokomo fina and aim. Eco. How many times to wash out with EPA? Just one or two more days. Three times. You're on a roll. Four cars. Three times each. That's it for twelve. What are you? A mechanic or a NASA engineer? I told you I'd never dealt with Lamborghinis. You assured me you could deliver these cars with that time frame. Don't tell me that, cause I'm not listening. Sure, I hardly think that's necessary. I'll explain that to my swing load. I'm into him for two hundred thousand. That's thousand. Three zeros. I got all my money in these cars. If I don't get my money out, I am finished. You have to understand our situation. I got the shark snapping at my heels here. I could have taken my business eleven days ago. I had to hold them off with a whip and a chair. I know delivery is way overdue. Fucking EPA. The world is choking on smog, and they're gonna correct the situation by keeping my four cars off the road. Babbitt Collectibles. Have you tried cash? How much can one of these EPA guys earn in a week? Mr. Wyatt, Wyatt, about the swing load. He doesn't get the money by 5.30. He'll seize the cars. I'm gonna have to call you back. Talk to Mr. Babbitt on this. Tell him you watched me sign the check, then you gave it to the mail girl. Come on, come on. I need this. I wouldn't do that, sir, until you talk to Mr. Babbitt. The number for him? No, he's on the road. He wants you to call him. Charlie, tell him I'm on my way to Barbados. Can he leave a number? Charlie, what, honey? I'm here. Talk to me. Mr. Bateman wants to back out on his car and wants to take Mr. Webb with him. They found two cars at Valley Motors. Tell him that was me on the other line. The paperwork will be here momentarily. You paying attention? Yeah, I'm listening. Tell them also I'm knocking off five grand for their patience. Understand? Are you sure that you've got it? I got it, Mr. Bateman. That was Mr. Babbitt on the other line. As it happens, the cars are passing emissions. I mean, the cars have passed emissions. They're waiting for the EPA paperwork. We'll have that momentarily, and because of your incredible patience, we're going to knock off five thousand dollars on each car. Yes, you've been most patient. We really appreciate your patience. Well, thank you. Thank you. Ready for Palm Springs, Charlie? I still want to go. We're seconds away from closing this deal. Clearing seventy-five grand. Not bad for a couple of phone calls. Not bad at all. And although each of the world's countries would like to dispute this fact, we French know the truth. The best food in the world is made in France. The best food in France is made in Paris, and the best food in Paris, some say, is made by Chef Augusto Gusto. Gusto's restaurant is the Toast of Paris. Booked five months in advance, and his dazzling ascent to the top of fine French cuisine has made his competitors envious. He is the youngest chef ever to achieve a five-star rating. Chef Gusto's cookbook, Anyone Can Cook, climbed to the top of the bestseller list, but not everyone celebrates its success. Amusing title, Anyone Can Cook, Anton Ego, food critic The Grim Eater. What's even more amusing is that Gusto actually seems to believe it. I, on the other hand, take cooking seriously, and, no, I don't think anyone can do it. This is me. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. What's my problem? First of all, I'm a rat, which means life is hard, and second, I have a highly developed sense of taste and smell. Flour, eggs, sugar, vanilla bean, oh, small twist of lemon. Whoa, you can smell all that. You have a gift. This is Emil, my brother. He's easily impressed. So you can smell ingredients. So what? This is my dad. He's never impressed. He also happens to be the leader of our clan. So what's wrong with having highly developed senses? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't eat that. What's going on here? Turns out that funny smell was rat poison. Suddenly, dad didn't think my talent was useless. I was feeling pretty good about my gift until dad gave me a job. Clean, clean. That's right. Poison checker. Cleanerific. Cleanerino. Close to godliness. Which means clean. You know, cleanliness is close to. Never mind. Move on. Well, it made my dad proud. Now, don't you feel better, Remy? You helped a noble cause. Noble. We're thieves, dad. And what we're stealing is, let's face it, garbage. It isn't stealing if no one wants it. If no one wants it, why are we stealing it? Let's just say we have different points of view. This much I knew. If you are what you eat, then I only want to eat the good stuff. But to my dad, food is fuel. You get picky about what you put in the tank. Your engine is going to die. Now shut up and eat your garbage. Look, if we're going to be thieves, why not steal the good stuff in the kitchen where nothing is poisoned? First of all, we are not thieves. Secondly, stay out of the kitchen and away from the humans. It's dangerous. I know I'm supposed to hate humans, but there's something about them. They don't just survive. They discover. They create. I mean, just look at what they do with food. How can I describe it? Good food is like music you can taste, color you can smell. There is excellence all around you. You need only be aware to stop and savor it. Oh, Gusto was right. Oh, yeah. Oh, amazing. Each flavor was totally unique, but combine one flavor with another, and something new was created. So now I had a secret life. The only one who knew about it was Emil. Hey, Emil, Emil, I found a mushroom. Come on, you're good at hiding food. Help me find a good place to put this. He doesn't understand me, but I can be myself around him. Why are you walking like that? I don't
us. Well, throw it on the pile, I guess, and then we'll, you know, we don't want to throw this in with the garbage. This is special, but we're supposed to return to the colony before sundown or, you know, dad's gonna. Emil, there are possibility. Let's go. Taylor, Bob and Marianne Taylor, just bear with me one second. There are other hotels in Miami. I'm sorry. What is the problem here? We made these reservations over six months ago. I know. I'm just not seeing it. Where's Lisa? Lisa always takes care of us. She's out of town. Her grandmother passed away. Olympia. Yes. You get in more trouble. If you bothered her or if I called corporate. Okay. Am. Alice Drivers. Taught you how to drive. TV Wonder. We'll catch your plane. We got. Ten minutes. Lisa Reiser. Lisa. Uh, I'm so sorry to call. I didn't know what to do. I have a situation. Slow down. What's the problem? Bob and Marianne Taylor. Yeah. They're regulars. Yeah. Well. I think I sort of erased their reservation. I was never checked out on the system. Did I mention I had a confirmed reservation? This is my receipt. I downloaded it off the internet myself. No. This is Taylor. Calm down. Don't say that. No. Calm down. She told me to calm down. Don't tell us to calm down. We've been very calm right up until now. I'm so sorry. Lisa. Olivia. Call them one more minute. I'll be happy. You promise. One more minute. You'll be happy. I promise. You better be. Now. Here my pin. It's 7-8-8. Hang on. Dad. Hold on. Lisa. When you hold on. Sure. Okay. Seven birds screeching. Men shouting in foreign language. Screeching. Hooting in panic. Screaming. Okay. Okay. Here you go. And let's go again. Which one is this? Number nine? Yeah. This is number nine. Right eyes. We call her. Are you watching this? This is unbelievable. Oh my god. How many moves was that? Minus 20. Yeah. A perfect score is 1-5. Doc. What are you giving her? Hey, give me that video. Imp number nine. Just one dose. Aren't I seeing you later? We are good to go. I'm going to call you back. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I built the 112. It works. I'm just the one primate. One is all we need. Full cognitive recovery. We're ready. Look. Are you sure you are not rushing this? I've been working on this for five and a half years. Data is clear. We're ready. Steven. All I need is your approval for human trials. For this, you're going to need the board's approval. There's a lot of money riding on this. Will. You only get one shot. One shot is all I need. Sign. All right. But I'll need to see. All the research. You got it. And. Will. Yeah. Keep your music playing. Panting. Beeping. Mama. Lyra. We know. JYN. Gather your things. It's time. Talk. Hello. So It's Lyra. It's happened. He's come for us. You know what to do. Loud humming. Galen. JYN. Come here. Remember. Whatever I do. I do it to protect you. Say you understand. I understand. I love you. Stardust. I love you. Too. Papa. Galen. Go. JYN. You know where to go. Don't you. Trust the force. Size. Panting. You're a hard man to find. Galen. The farming. Really. Man of your talents. It's a peaceful life. It's lonely. I imagine. Since Lyra died. Yes. Oh. oh. Exhales. My condolences. Search the house. Mechanical voices speaking indistinctly. Galen. What is it you want? The work has stalled. I need you to come back. I won't do it. Krennic. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. To providing peace and security for the galaxy. You're confusing peace with terror. Well. You have to start somewhere. Indistinct chatter. I'd be of no hell. Krennic. My mind just isn't what it was. I have trouble remembering. Even simple things. Galen. You're an inspired scientist but you're a terrible liar. Now. I admire the effort. I really do. Oh. Look. Here's Lyra. Back from the dead. It's a miracle. Speaks indistinctly. Stop. Weapon lines. Oh. Lyra. Troublesome as ever. You're not taking him. No. Of course I'm not. I'm taking you all. You'll all come. You. Your child. You'll all live in comfort. As hostages. As heroes of the Empire. Lyra. Ways. I'm always with them. These are my friends. Even aside from the game. They're my friends. I'm not changing my mind on any of that. Yeah. Definitely. Probst. It's time to vote. Lindsay, you're first. It's a game. Lindsay, you're first. It's a game. And it's your time to go. Well, buddy, this is four. And it's your time to go. Well, buddy, this is four. Carl, for Frank, and for Teresa. It's only a game. Play nicely. Probst, I'll go tally the. Play nicely. Probst, I'll go tally the. Votes. Once the votes are read, the. Votes. Once the votes are read, a. Decision is final. The person will be asked to. Leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Silas, Silas, Silas. Three votes Silas. Linda, Linda, Linda. Three votes Silas. Three votes. Linda. Final vote. Linda. You need to bring me your torch. Speaking quietly. Play nicely. Probst. Linda. The tribe has spoken. Got it. Probst. It's time for you to go. Bye guys. Bye. Probst. Well, one very clear result of this split within your own tribe is that, Lindsay, you now have four votes against you. Silas you have three votes. That's a lot of votes after only two tribal councils could most definitely come into play in future votes. No doubt. We know very well. Probst, I'll leave you with this final thought. Silas, you said it best. This game changes minute by minute. It certainly does. You guys can head back to camp. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's been an... I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's been an... Interesting 12 days. I think our vote tonight, the... Older People's Alliance, is a very significant honor. It's very important to us. Integrity is very important to... Us. To me, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. I've grown, I've learned, it's just been great. Namaste. Put it down, think very carefully. Breath trembling, you will never win. Do it, weapons firing, both groaning. Gasps, Lyra, Lyra, they have a child. Find it, JYN panting. Door opens, mechanical voices speaking. JYN breathing heavily, thunder rumbling. JYN continues panting. Footsteps approaching, my child, come, come. Once in every night time, someone comes around. I'm coming to get you. No, there's someone that makes sleeping difficult. Cassie, I'm coming. Who's there? Dash, the tickle monster. No, that's right, Sylvester Stallone is the tickle monster. I'm gonna tickle you, but I'm gonna tickle you. What? I'm gonna tickle you. Daddy, help. I'm here. Cassie, and hand my daughter. Tickle monster. Oh, hand to hand. Look over there. Go, daddy. Go. Oh, here. Is she still up? Yeah, yeah. I just gave her a warm bath. And now she's more wide awake than I am. She won't be so sharp for her big meeting tomorrow. Good night, sweetie. Night, mommy. Well, if I can get Carl to sleep in the next ten minutes. Ash, you might still have a shot tonight. Use a mallet if you have to. Daddy. Yeah, baby. I'm never gonna get married. Why not? It's not 
as bad as it looks, because I always want to live here with you. Well, no, one day, you're gonna grow up, meet a wonderful guy, and you're gonna get married. You and I will always be best friends. Good night, Cassie. Dad, could you be any more of a dork? Cassie, you know where this girl lives, or you just think you know. I know where she lives, I just know one way to get there, and you refuse to go that way, because it's a stupid way. If you consider getting there stupid, why don't you use the navigation? Because Sakatalia back there doesn't know the name of the street. She knows it as the one next to the one with the fountain. Hey, Dad, Cassie just gave you the finger. If we don't find this house in two minutes, there it is. Okay, honey, hurry up, go get your friend. Jerk, I heard that. Good, where are they? She just left. Okay, which friend is this? The nice one. You used to know all her friends. You were funny and charming. Well, she's 15. She doesn't want me to be charming. The San Fernando Valley, 16 miles north of Los Angeles. You're killing me, girl. What happened with you and Josh? Hell, so, I understand that you all were part of the 58th Rescue Squadron, staged over at Bagram in Afghanistan. Combat, search, and rescue. Yes, ma'am. Two tours, and yet still flying together? Yeah, we all got pretty tight over there. You wouldn't want to break up the family. Dude, do we look like a family? A little. So what is the biggest difference between rescuing over there, and what you do here? Not getting shot at. You're a funny guy. Yeah, exactly. Dude, not right. Chief Gaines, I'm told that between Afghanistan and LFD, you have over 600 documented rescues. That's uh, pretty impressive. Just doing my job, ma'am. I go where they tell me to go. That's great. Uh, here she is. Looks pretty tight. Take her up. Metro, this is LFD Hello 5. We're on Cedar Cliffy Rescue. We have visual. Copy Hello 5. What's the girl's name? Natalie. Metro, connect her cell to our sat phone. Hello 5, you're connected. Hello. Natalie, this is Chief Pilot Raymond Gaines, the Los Angeles Fire Department. I'm piloting the chopper above you. You holding up all right? I don't know. I'm not feeling very well. Oh my god. The car is sliding. Natalie, I'm gonna need you to stay calm, honey. We're coming to get you. Okay, okay. Ray, I don't see a way in. We're going to tip the hat. Tip the hat. Woman on TV. Day after day. The store that one might. I hate television. It gives me headaches. There's so many magnetic waves traveling in the airspace. Because of TV and television, we're losing 10 times as many brain cells as we're supposed to. Oh, please. The cow says blank. Three letters. Dude, dude. I don't know. Magnetic waves. Brain cells. I don't understand the connection between that stuff. You know what else I heard? Magnetic waves shrink silicone molecules. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Turn it off. It's not working. It's backwards. What do we do? I don't know. Oh, my God. Television clicks off. Both sides. That was kind of scary. I know something even scarier. What? Have you heard about this videotape? Where they do it on the boat? And then in the car? And then in the bathtub? It's like, baby, I love you. And she's like, where are we? And did you see the, no, not that tape. Oh, one with all the scary images. After you watch the tape, the phone rings. And this scary voice comes on and says you're gonna die in seven days. I saw that one with Josh last weekend. You were with Josh last weekend? Oh, my God. Laughs. Oh, yes, I was. Oh, you ho. You know it? Oh, fabric ripping. Oh, telephone ringing. Snaps. Numbers. This is really weird. Yeah. Big house. Only one phone. Hello. Hello. Woman. I'm coming for you. My precious. Hi. Bob. Hi. Just having fun? Hey. Ask her which bathroom has the vibrating show react. Thunder crashes. Hello. Hello. Freaking. Toaster dings. Gasps. Screams. Quacking. Kaden. 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 Are you okay? Are you okay? Ah. Uh, girl screams. Ah. Uh, girl screams. God. Urinating. Girl screams. Urinating stops. Screaming stops. Urinating resumes. Girl screams. Urinating stops. Screaming stops. Urinating resumes. Screaming resumes. Both stop. Urinating resumes. Screaming resumes. Both stop. Cra Subtitles by Explosive Skull Resync by Golden Beard. Oh, no. Look over there. Look over there. Okay. All right. Look over there. Let's take a picture. One. Say cheese. Okay. One, two. Say cheese. Cheese. Three. The four and the one. No. That's your two. There you go. Four. One. Four. One. Four. One. And then five. One. When you're ready, you can switch to five. Look what I got. What is that? What? You don't know Pokemon. Come on. Faster. Faster. Smile. Oh, sorry. This is video. Just slide the thing. Slide the video log 3.7. I have reason to believe my wife is a robot. Can seemingly run for miles. Wait up. Stop. Don't. Everybody's grounded. Hey, yes. Bravo. Video log 6.7. I think we can. I think we can. I think we. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hey. Dad. Hey. Sweetheart. How's it going? Oh, good. What's up with the FaceTime? Oh, I'm glad you asked. What is wrong with this picture? I'm about to be in trouble, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. Maybe we should keep the trash in your room. Uh, maybe the smell will remind you. I'm sorry, Matt. It won't happen again. Okay. Where are you, by the way? Windshield wipers wiping. Engine running. Rainy. Turn around. Turn around. Turn the car around and get the hell out of here. Right now. Shifts gears. Wheel spinning. Grunts. Brakes squealing. Stupid. Don't go back. Do not go back there. Bells ring. Television playing indistinctly. Hey. Wind blowing. Muttering indistinctly. Screams. What the hell's going on in here? Music. Snoring. Knocking at door. Louder knocking. Loud knocking. Or not rattling. With a southern accent. You stole my story. Well, I'm sorry. I don't believe I know you. I know that. That doesn't matter. I know you, Mr. Rainy. That's what matters. You stole my story. You're mistaken. I don't read manuscripts. You read this one already. You stole it. I can assure you that I, I know you can. I know that. I don't want to be assured. If you want to talk to someone about some grievance you feel you may have, you can call my literary agent in New York. This is between you and me. Hot whimpers. We don't need any outsiders, Mr. Rainy. It is strictly between you and me. All right, look, Mr. Whoever you are, I don't like being accused of plagiarism. That is in fact what you're accusing me of, Chico, inside. I don't blame you for not liking it. You did it. You stole my story. You're gonna have to leave. I have nothing more to say. Yeah, I'll go. We'll talk more later. Chuckles, I'm not taking that. Won't do you any good to play games with me, Mr. Rainy. This has got to be settled. So far as I'm concerned, it is. Lock clicks. Pump. Music. Sewing season. John shoot. Hashtag baby. Who wants to love me sexy? Hashtag. Hashtag baby. Who's ready to lick me sexy? Hashtag. Hashtag baby. We're naked and we're humping sexy. Hashtag. Hashtag love me sexy. Hashtag. Hashtag come on, girl. Yeah, hashtag. Hashtag it's me, Jackie Moon. Hashtag. Hashtag give me that look. That's right. Hashtag. Hashtag let's get sweaty. Let's get real sweaty. 
hashtag hashtag I'm talking rainforest sweaty hashtag hashtag I'm talking swamp sweaty hashtag hashtag let's fill the bathtub full of sweat all right hashtag hashtag baby who wants to love me sexy hashtag hashtag baby are you ready to lick me sexy hashtag hashtag baby wake up we're naked hashtag hashtag and we're humping sexy hashtag hashtag come on girl hashtag hashtag baby who wants to love me sexy hashtag hashtag love me sexy hashtag hashtag baby are you ready to lick me sexy hashtag hashtag lick me sexy hashtag hashtag take off your shoes and suck me sexy hashtag hashtag suck 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 me sexy hashtag hashtag baby we're naked and we're humping sexy hashtag hashtag who hashtag hashtag pump in sexy hashtag hashtag I want to do a little thing with you hashtag hashtag I want to do a little thing with you hashtag hashtag when I say love me you say sexy hashtag hashtag love me hashtag sexy hashtag, yeah blank tropics ground get it going feels good doesn't it I see some ladies up there who want to love me sexy Jackie Moon soaking up a robust round of applause as he finishes up his once popular song love me sexy I'm Dick Pepper Peel joined as always my former tropics forward Lou Redwood yeah I might suit up tonight sometimes I still dream of glory well sometimes dreams can turn into nightmares Lou what's your problem and now the starting lineup for your Flint Michigan tropics a ball girl measuring 34-2334 she hopes to be an astronaut one day. I don't think she can do it. Put your hands together for Melinda. Oh, Tropics. From South Bend, Indiana. This guy has a heart of gold. His brother's a retard. He reads to him and paints him pretty pictures. Scootsie Double Day. Scootsie Double Day taking the court now. Yeah, his brother is really retarded. Ronnie Double Day. He has all three major kinds of retardation. This guy is single and disease free. No VD at all. But you could be the lucky girl to give it to him. Six foot five. Twiggy Munson. Of course he's disease free. What chick wants to be with a guy that's hung like a twig? Well, that's not true. I've heard a lot of women say that they actually prefer a small penis. Show me one gal who says that and I'll show you a liar. I'll introduce you to Mrs. Pepperfield later on tonight. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. It's off traditional music playing. The legend of the Ten Rings has been told for thousands of years. Every generation, the story grows, but at its center, there is always one man. Horse grunts. Some say he found the rings in a crater or stole them from a tomb. They gave him the strength of a god and the gift of eternal life. Breathed shakily, he could have used them for good. Arrows whizzing, but all he wanted was power. Rings clang. Dramatic music playing. Arrows clattering. Blasting. Soldiers exclaim. All grunting. Soldiers screams. Soldiers groaning. Crashing. Soldiers yelling. Soldiers grunting synchronously. He called his army the Ten Rings. Over the centuries, they spread into every corner of the world. All grunting. They moved in the shadows, screaming, toppled governments, and changed the course of history. Men scream. He chased money and power for a thousand years, but he still wanted more. Have you heard the legend of Talo, a hidden village with mythical creatures and ancient magic, where people practice a martial arts style from the gods? I want to find it, of course. I'll send a scout to explore the area, and come back with more information. I want to go now. Blow dramatic music playing. The forest is moving. Trees rattling. All exclaiming. Grunts. Crashing. He had nothing left on earth to conquer. That's when he came for my home. Where's the entrance to Talo? You're not welcome in our village. You don't know who you're talking to. I don't care who you are. Turn around now, and I won't have to hurt you. Scoffs. Is that all? Tense music playing. Exhales sharply. Breathing deeply. Traditional music playing. Grunts. Both grunting. Traditional music continues. Chuckle softly, chuckles lightly, grunts, energy whirring, grunting, gasps, that was the first time I met your father, soft traditional music playing, he was the last person I thought I'd fall for, but love had other plans, shan -chi. there's much more to know about the legend of the rings, but you'll learn about that when you're older, if dad's rings were so powerful, how did you beat him, where I'm from, we are empowered by the magic of the great protector, when you have the heart of our dragon, you can do some amazing things, can you still do those things, I left those powers in Talo with our dragon, but what I got in return is so much better, last orders, please, John, yeah, do you see what I'm saying, yeah, totally, I know he's your best friend, but you do live with him, no, it's not that I don't like Ed Ed, it's not that I don't like you, it's all right, it'd just be nice if we could, Alex, spend a bit more time together, Alex, just the two of us, pocket, with Ed here, it's no wonder I always bring my flatmates out, and that only exacerbates things, what do you mean, you guys hardly get on, do you, no, what does exacerbate mean, it means to make things worse, right, right, well, I mean, it's not that I don't like David and did, you know, guys, it's not that I don't like you, it's all right, and I do want to spend time with you, it's just Ed doesn't have too many friends, can I get any of you cunts a drink, anybody, no, thank you, I know, friends are important to Sean, but you must set some quality time aside for yourselves, Daps is always taking me to see these listed buildings, and I'm always dragging him to the theater, I'm not so hot on theater, how about a meal. It's your anniversary soon. It was last week. Did you do anything special? We came here. Sean. Bob Lumps. Sean. What I'm trying to say is I need something more. More than spending every night in the Winchester. I want to do more interesting stuff. I want you to want to want to do it. Listen to me. I'm beginning to sound like your mom. Not that I'd know. You haven't met his mom. Not yet. Don't you get along with your mom? It's not her. Are you ashamed by your mom? Sean. No. I love my mom. I love his mom. Hashtag she's like butter. Ed. Sean. Liz. I understand what you're trying to say and I agree. We should get out there. We'll start tomorrow. I'll book a restaurant. The place that does all the fish. Just the two of us. Things will change. I promise. Really. Sean. Time. Gentlemen. Shrek. Once upon a time there was a lovely princess, but she had an enchantment upon her of a fearful sword which could only be broken by love's first kiss. She was locked away in a castle, guarded by a terrible fire-breathing dragon. Many brave knights had attempted to free her from this dreadful prison, but none prevailed. She waited in the dragon's keep, in the highest room of the tallest tower, for her true love and true love's first kiss. Shrek laughing, like that's ever gonna happen. What a load of toilet flushing. All star playing. Shrek grunting, squeaks, shouting, belches. Go, go. Villager one, I think it's in there. All right, let's get it. Whispering, hold on. Do you know what that thing can do to you? Yeah, it'll grind your bones for its bread. Laughing, yes. Well, actually, that would be a giant. Gasping. Now, ogres, they're much worse. They'll make a suit from your freshly peeled skin. No, they'll shave your liver, squeeze the jelly from your eyes. Actually, it's quite good on toast. Villager 2, back, back, east, back. I warn ya, yeah. gasping, right, roaring, shouting, continues roaring, all continue shouting, whispering this is the part where you run away, gasping, snickering, laughing, and stay out, wanted, fairy tale creatures, size, soldier, all right, this one's full, take it away, singing, move it along, come on, get up, soldier 2, next, give me that, your Jeff Probst, previously on Survivor,
members of Samburu proposed a plan that would protect them in case of a tie. Vote after the merge. None of us have one vote against us, except for Lindsay. I never thought I'd say, vote for me three times tonight. Come on. But it will help us, as long as I don't get voted for once. The merger happens. And what's in it for us? Nothing. At tribal council, the older members did not go along with the plan. Instead, they gave all their votes to Silas, making him more vulnerable in future tribal councils. But the young members gave their four votes to Linda, and she was voted out of the tribe. Linda, the tribe has spoken. Twelve are left. Who will be voted out tonight? They could have done the strategy part with us. What was your and Frank's strategy in that? I understand that. Frank, I know you want to get far. And I know T wants to get far. But what was your all's logic in that? I'm I mean, it's just a simple question. I honestly don't care, I just want to know. Explain your logic in the voting, that's all. I know, but I'm just saying you misread me. If it helps you out at all, that's all. You were punishing us because we wouldn't tell you. The three of us had no idea who was leaving. So what? No idea. So we stayed together. We kept our alliance because we had no idea. No, this is what happened Lindsay. They're punishing us. No, no, no. Just hold on. What you guys told all of us was, we want you guys to all vote for Lindsay. But we're not going to tell you what we're going to do. But this is what you guys got to do. Now we're, you know, we're the low men on the totem pole, so. Okay, so it was revenge. That's okay, T, that's all we needed to hear. If you guys would use the power over us to say, you do this for us. You wanted to use the power over to screw us for the game. I understand that. Don't be emotional tonight. Silas, because we're all really high strung, it's easier to talk about it tomorrow, when we're not emotional, I totally understand, T, if I had been put in that spot, I would have said, screw my chances, screw them all, let me just take them out, no, you would not have screwed your chances, no, but I'm trying to make things easy and nice, so that we can get through tonight, I wouldn't have screwed my chances, that's okay, though, it's so funny, though, T bird, it's like, you know, you all talked about character and loyalty and honesty, and all this stuff, and it just just proved right now that, you know, you guys just, are full of crap, uh, tribal council, and, uh, we had to go in there, and eliminate somebody, and, of course, it was going to be one, of the three elders of the tribe, uh, myself or Tari- Flying days are over, that's 20 pieces of silver for the witch, next, uh, come on, lousy 20 pieces, thudding, sit down there, keep quiet, crying this cage is too small, please don't turn me in, I'll never be stubborn again, I can change, please, give me another chance, oh, shut up, soldier one, next, what have you got, this little wooden puppet, I'm not a puppet, pull yourself together, Teddy, pull yourself together, it's just water, it's a lot of water, a lot of, come on, you okay, boss, yeah, I'm fine, I just, I just can't, can't stomach the water, you're my new partner, that's right, not the best way to meet, with my head halfway down the toilet, doesn't exactly square with Teddy Daniels, the man, the legend, I'll give you that, the legend, what the hell you boys smoking over there in Portland, anyway, Seattle, I came from the office in Seattle, how long you been with the marshals, four years, so you know how small it is, sure, what about you, you got a girl, married, I was, she died, Jesus, I don't, don't worry about it, there was a fire at the apartment building while I was at work, four people died, it was the smoke that got her, not the fire, see, it's important, I'm sorry, boss, where are my goddamn cigarettes, here, have one of mine, I could have sworn they were in my jacket before I got on. Government employees will rob you blind. Thanks. They give you a briefing about the institution before you left. All I know is it's a mental hospital. Or the criminally insane. Well, it's just folks running around hearing voices. And chasing after butterflies. You wouldn't need us. Is that where we're headed? Yeah. The other side of the island is rock bluffs. All the way down to the edge of the water. The dock. It's the only way on or off. We'll be casting off as soon as you two are ashore. I'd appreciate it if you'd hurry up about it. What? Storm's coming. Never seen a marshal's badge before. I'm Deputy Warden McPherson. Gentlemen, welcome to Shutter Island. I'll be the one taking you up to Ashekliff. Your boys seem a little on edge. Mr. McPherson. Right now, Marshal, all are electrified perimeter. How can you tell? I've seen something like it before. All right, you gentlemen will be accorded all the help we can give, but during your stay, you will obey protocol. Is that understood? Absolutely. Red brick building on your right is Ward A, male ward. Ward B, the female ward, is the one on your left. Ward C is that building on the bluffs, an old civil war fort. The most dangerous patients are housed there. Admittance to Ward C is forbidden, without the written consent and physical presence. Uh, where are they? I don't know. Dad, Uncle Merrill, Dad, Morgan, oh, 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 where's Morgan? Oh, are you in my dream, too? This is not a DR, Dad. Hey, honey, Morgan, what's happening? The dogs were barking. Oh, Gus, are you hurt? I think God did it. Did what? Morgan, look, I don't even care if it was him. And you can just have a word with him, and that'd be enough for me. See, it was strange finding the crops that way. The kids were confused by it, and, uh, it sure take the strangeness away. If I knew it was just Lionel and the Wolfington brothers messing around, that's all. But the movies, are you sure? All right then. Uh, thanks for your patience, Lee. Yeah, uh, Houdini peed. I think he's sick. Why don't you take him outside? I'll call Dr. Crawford. He doesn't treat animals. Well, he'll know what to do. Oh, uh, that was quick, Caroline. I only called you folks two hours ago. Old Mrs. Kendallman twisted her ankle, and she puts it diving for her life. When a bunch of school kids rode down the sidewalk on skateboards, she went down to Thornton's store this morning and started spitting on the new skateboards. Spitting, on panting, on, come Come on, come on, powering up, man, don't let him get away, creatures growling, panic chatter, man, get inside now, hurry up, you're late, Proxima's gonna have your hide, get back in the den, boy, look what I stole, Proxima will give me an extra portion for this, Lex, nope, I think she's gonna give that extra portion to me, hey, give it back, it belongs to whoever's holding it, and that's not you, Lex, boy one, full savacy, boy two, idiots array, boy one, what, let me see that, boy two, no, it's my card, boy one, you cheat, G-R-A, on, you were gone too long, I knew 
something must have gone wrong. This is nothing. You should see them. Man, look down here. All right, listen. I was in the middle of the exchange. I'm handing over the coaxium. And his goons jumped me. But I showed them how. I ran away. Then I boosted their speeder. What? Are we going somewhere? Yeah, anywhere we want. You held onto one of the vials. Boy, hands back. This, this is worth five, six hundred credits. That's more than you said we'd need to buy our way out of the control zone. And off Corellia. Han, this could work. This is gonna work. GRA, you always said one day we're gonna get out of here. This is it. What are we waiting for? Revolt. There he is. Hey, you two. Speaking alien language. Look who we have here. In English, Moloch. Hi, how are ya? I was just on my way to see Lady Proxima. Speaking alien language. You have our money. Chuckles. What a night I had. You're not gonna believe it. You'll believe it. But search him. Hold still. Scrum rot. Grunting. Han, easy. Revolt. Come on. All right. Revolt. Let's go see Lady Proxima. Rouse. Indistinct chatter. Grunts. Well, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. They double crossed you and tried to kill me. The money. They kept it. And Michael Axiom. They kept that too. But we learned a very valuable lesson. We cannot trust those guys. Lady Proxima. So you expect me to believe that you walked away with nothing. I ran away with my life. I think that's something to me. That's a lot. Lady Proxima. I trusted you with a simple task. And all I'm hearing are excuses. Han groans. All gasp. There must be consequences for disobedience. Or else you never learn. Grunts. All exclaim. Discordant jazz music playing. Music ends. Joe. All right. Let's try something else. Instruments playing discordantly. Dash. Stick tapping. Dash. Music stops. Uh, from the top. Ready. One, two, three. Students playing intro discordantly. Beat picking up rhythmically. One, two, three, four. Stay on the beat. Dash. Playing jazz music. Two, three, four. That's C sharp horns. Blowing sharply. Two, three. I see you. Caleb. Rachel. Now you. Forgot my sax. Mr. G. Okay. She forgot her sax. And now. All you. Connie. Go for it. Playing improvised solo. Boy. Way to go. Students giggling. Honey size. Hang on. Hang on. What are y'all laughing at? So Connie got a little lost in it. That's a good thing. Look. I remember one time. My dad took me to this jazz club. And that's the last place I wanted to be. But then I see this guy. And he's playing these chords with fourths on it. And then with the minor. Dash. Minor keys play. Oh, oh, oh. Then he adds the inner voice. And it's like he's, it's like he's singing. And I swear, the next thing I know, plays cascading notes. It's like he floats off the stage, playing melodious trilling notes. That guy was lost in the music. He was in it, and he took the rest of us with him. Continues playing melodious trilling notes. And I wanted to learn playing chords, how to talk like that. That's when I knew I was born to play. Plays ascending scale. Connie knows what I mean, right? Connie, I'm 12. Knock on door. I'll be right back. Practice your scales. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Gardner. Instruments playing discordantly. Chuckles, you're doing my ears a favor. Hey, not you, though. You're good. Dash whispers. He's not. Dash chuckles. What can I do for you, Principal Arroyo? I wanted to deliver the good news personally. No more part time for you. You're are now our full-time band teacher. Dash, grown softly, job security, medical insurance, pension. Wow, that's up. Uh, great. Welcome to the MS-70 family, Joe. Permanently. Chuckles, thanks. Instruments continue playing discordantly. Liva, after all these years, my prayers have been answered. A full-time job, working man, coming through. Yeah, mom, but uh, you're going to tell them yes, right? Don't worry, mom, I got a plan. You always got a plan. Maybe you need to have a backup plan, too, for when your plan falls through. Dad, Dark Star November, this is Gator 6. Return to base. Dark Star November, this is Gator 6. Return to base. I took your advice. It was good advice. Thank you. You look pale. Everything okay? John, John, right. Anyway, Listen, I wanted to tell you, God damn it, the only reason why I cancelled, he's calling me three times a day. I hear more from him now than I did when we were together. What is it with guys? I gave notice. Ticket. Notice. May I see your ticket? I thought, hey, you're acting a little strange this morning. Okay, ticket. Are we gonna make up the ten minutes? We're gonna try. Sure. Hey, I'm hot. The heck was the delay back there? Just punch the tickets. Sure. I should punch your face. John, did I do something? Look, I can see that you think you know me, but I don't know who you are. My name is Captain Coulter Stevens. I fly helicopters for the U.S. Army in Afghanistan. Now approaching Glenbrick Station. John, that's John. Glenbrick Station. Yes, stop. I feel sick. Damn it. I'm sorry. Let me help you with that. No, it's okay. Glenbrick Station. <coughs> Mister. Glenbrick Station. <coughs> Drop this. Thanks. What is that? Chicago. All aboard. Doors are closing. This is a Chicago bound train. Okay there, Captain. Next stop, Chicago. Union Station. Did you see that? You're kind of freaking me out. No. Ball bouncing. Michael, what are you doing out here? Son, it's after midnight. Michael couldn't sleep. Pops, well, neither can we. With all that noise you're making. Come on, let's go inside. Just one more shot. Chuckles. All right. Just one. Yeah, James Chuckles. That's good. Shoot it again. Getting pretty good. Son, go ahead. Shoot till you miss. You think if I can get good enough, I can go to college? Hey, if you get good enough, you can do anything you want to. Michael, I want to play at North Carolina. That's a real fine school. Real fine school. You can get a first class education there. I want to play on a championship team. And I want to play in the NBA. Chuckling. All right. Let's slow down, son. Don't you think you ought to get a little sleep first? And once I've done all that, I want to play baseball just like you. Dad, baseball. Now, it's a sport. And when you're finished with that, I suppose you're gonna fly. Uh, crowd cheering. Michael, I just feel at this particular time that I reached the uh, pinnacle of my basketball career and I must retire. Murmuring. The one good thing that comes out of this is that my father had the opportunity to see me play my last basketball game and that means a lot to me. Male reporter. What are you gonna do now? Well, I've never really told anybody this except for one person, and, uh, but I think I'm gonna go play professional baseball, murmuring, what position will you play, I don't know, as a kid, I was a pitcher, I think that would be kind of hard for me to pitch, so I'm gonna play the outfield, screaming, kid, hoo hoo, let's get out of here, dad, this stinks, don't bring me here anymore, alright, don't bring me here anymore, alright, smack hammer, are you listening, did you hear him, did you hear him, that little brat is right, I've told you, if I've told you once, I told you a thousand, 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 thousand times, Earl Sandwards, what is it, Sergeant Rico, he told me to let you know the moment Planet Druidia was in sight, sir, so, Planet Druidia's in sight, sir, you're really a space ball, you know that, don't you, thanks, sir, have you notified Lord Helmet, yes, sir, on his way. Make way for Dark Helmet. I'll rise in the presence of Dark Helmet. I can't breathe in this thing. We're approaching Planet Druidia, sir. Good. I'll call Spaceball City and notify President Strobe. I already called him, sir. He knows everything. What? You went over my
it not, I'll do it myself. Very good, sir. What's the matter with this thing? You call that a radar screen? No, sir. We call it Mr. Coffee. Care for some? Yes. I always have coffee when I watch radar. Of course. Everybody knows that. Of course we do, sir. Now that I have my coffee, I'm ready to watch radar. Where is it? Right here, sir. Switch to Teleview. There it is. Planet Druidia. And under the air shield, 10,000 years of fresh air. You must get through the shield. We will, sir. Once we kidnap the princess, her father will give us the combination to the air shield, thereby destroying planet Druidia and saving planet Spacefall. In audible dialogue, Peter, it's me, Peter Parker, your friendly neighborhood. You know, I've come a long way from being the boy who was bit by a spider. Back then, nothing seemed to go right for me. Huh. Wow, look, it's Spider-Man. Super cool. Spider-Man, people really like me. Hey, stick around. It's gonna start again in a couple minutes. All oh, huh. that's okay. The city is safe and sound. I guess I've had something to do with that. My Uncle Ben would be proud. I still get to school. Top of my class. Now, the Hamiltonian shows us that the energy levels are perturbed by the electric field. From the form of this matrix, we can see, Miss Stacy, that only the M equals zero quantum states are affected. Connors, correct. Good work, Miss Stacy. Parker, you got something to add? No, sir. Peter, and I'm in love with the girl of my dreams. Ha, huh. Miss Watson left a ticket for me. Peter Parker, excuse me. Sorry, thank you. Sorry. Audience chattering. Oh, I'm so nervous. Orchestra playing. They say that falling in love is wonderful. Mouthing, it's wonderful. So they say. Audience applauding. That's my girlfriend. And with the moon up above. Mouthing, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So they tell me. I can't recall who said it. I know I never read it. I only know they tell me that love is grand. And the thing that's known as romance is wonderful. In every way. So they say. Audience applauding. I thought she was good. Yeah, Harry, Harry. I need to talk to you. Explain things. Tell it to my father. Raise him from the dead. I'm your friend, Harry. I cared about your father. MJ. Peter. Congrats. Was I good? Good. You were great. You were. You said great. I love my kill. Nick, this was a tragedy. But it's not why we're here. What? Are we fighting the weather now? Locals say the cyclone had a face. People see things when they're under stress. That does not mean that this is the start to some other big world ending. Who are you? Roars. You don't want any part of this. And we'll always love you. We'll always love you. You my darling. You. Bittersweet memories. That is all. I'm taking with me. Endel. We'll always love you. I will always love you. I will always love you. Gone but not forgotten. Thanks to Kenneth Lim and Bihan Raman Ruby for their help with that touching video tribute. This year has been nothing short of F is crazy. It's insane. Jason. What? No swearing. It's the last day of school. We're good. Historic. Over five years ago. Half of all life in the universe, including our own Midtown High, was wiped from existence. And eight months ago, a band of brave heroes caught us back. Tuba blares and students scream. They called it the blip. Those of us who blipped away came back the same age. But our classmates that didn't blip had grown five years older. My little brother is now older than me. Yeah, it's mad. Even though we had blipped away halfway through the school year and had already taken midterms, the school made us start the whole year over from the beginning. It's totally unfair. It's not right. Tigers, it's been a long, dramatic, somewhat confusing road. As we draw this year to a close, it's time to move on to a new phase of our lives. Pray nothing crazy happens again. Because are the Avengers even a thing anymore? Does anyone even have a plan? I have a plan. Okay, first, I'm gonna sit next to MJ on the flight. Lisa or Linda? Unfortunately, it was Linda. But, uh, that's the way it was going to happen. We knew that. Uh, we are still a tribe divided. We're two tribes in one. Um, the you, they think they can do it alone. They need us, and, uh, they basically just ignored us and cut us off. Keep isolating us. We're going to keep fighting, you know? I haven't seen an invitation come across the board, so, hey, it's a game, which they utter every minute. It's a game. It's a game. I don't know. I felt so good last night. I feel so good right now, because I know we got to them. And it feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They definitely set up mine. Up Silas, and AKA. They weren't here to play the game last night, you know. They were there for revenge for them to show. Ah, kiss my ass, you know. We have the power. Look at this. We're going to screw you. And, you know, again, it just shows the older group's mature level, and, again, it's a game and, you know, no big deal. I'm not used to all these emotional people. This is a game and, you know, we're supposed to be thinking. Whether they believe it or not, we have to have those two people. I mean, we have to win one more immunity challenge, or it doesn't matter what we do or how many votes we have. We're all screwed. It's very frustrating for me to see a clear picture and have these people around me just, like, living in the moment and not having any, like, not caring at all that the things they say are really, have huge consequences on what happens two days from now. All right, buddy, you're up. All right, all right, we have a little voodoo doll. Ooh, okay, guys, we got mail and it's probably the strangest mail we've ever gotten. Really? Oh, yes. Everyone has to put on their thinking hat. Pick three from your tribe to go on a quest. You get to decide who you feel would be the best. Vote or draw straws and send them on their way. The other three wait, but for what? We won't say. Wow, simple as that it's a quest. They only want three people. Definitely you. You know what, T-Bird, you set out the last one. Why don't you go on this one for sure? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Who else wants to go? It's showtime. Good luck, guys. Do some house cleaning. All right. Who do you think we ought to go with? I think, uh, Lex, uh, Tom A and D, Kelly. One, two, three, all around. Welcome to day 13 of Survivor. We brought you back to this original drop point where it all began for what I think is going to be a pretty interesting day. As you guys have certainly figured out by now, the game of Survivor is all always changing. 
and it's about to change again. If you guys could give me your buffs, Lax, thank you. Silas, Teresa, Frank, you guys are now members of Baran. Oh, my god. Whistles, Kelly, Lax, Tom, you guys are now members of Samburu. Smokes, here's a map, Frank, to your new home. Thank you, sir. Kelly, here's a map to your new home. Samburu, your guys are heading this way. Baran, you're heading that way. Head on out, guys. We're part of Sambuhu now. What's the name, man? We're part of Sambuhu now. How many times did I say, I'm glad I'm not on that team? Yeah, well, now you are. When Jeff said, give me your buff, I almost turned around and bolted. If he, you know, and ran. It's a long way back to camp but if he'd give me the option, run all the way back to camp, no water for two days, or give me your buff, I'd still be trying to run. I'm going to try to intervene and get as much gossip as I can. Mm, second, I'm gonna buy a dual headphone adapter and watch movies with her the whole time. Okay, three, when we go to Venice. Venice is famous for making stuff out of glass, right? True, TV, I'm gonna buy her a black dahlia necklace because her favorite flower is the black dahlia. Because of, well, the murder, the murder. Or, when we go to Paris, I'm gonna take her to the top of the Eiffel Tower, give her the necklace. Oh, then, five, I'm gonna tell her how I feel. And, six, hopefully she tells me she feels the same way. Oh, don't forget step seven. Step seven, don't do any of that. What? We're gonna be bachelors in Europe, Ned. Look, I may not know much, but I do know this. Europeans love Americans. Really? More than half of them are women. Okay, sure. I really like MJ. Man, okay, she's awesome. She's super funny in a kind of dark way. Sometimes I catch her looking at me. I feel like I've stood up. She's coming. Don't say anything. What up, works? Excited about the science trip? Hey, you're talking about the trip. Yeah, and Peter's plan. Peter, she looks at me every day. Mary Jane Watson. Oh, look. She only knew how I felt about her, but she can never know. I made a choice once to live a life of responsibility. A life she can never be a part of. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man, given a job to do. And I'm Peter Parker, and I, too, have a job. Man, Parker, Parker. No, no, no. Stop, stop, Parker. You're late, man. Always late. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Aziz. There was a disturbance. Mr. Aziz. Disturbance. Another disturbance. Always a disturbance with you. Come on. 21 minutes ago. And comes order. Armitan, Burton and Smith. Eat extra large deep dish pizzas. In 8 minutes, I am defaulting on Joe's 29 minute guarantee. And not only am I receiving no money for these pizzas, but I will lose the customer forever to pizza your look, you are my only hope. Alright, you have to make it in time. Peter, you're a nice guy, but you're just not dependable. This is your last chance. You have to go 42 blocks in 7 and a half minutes or your ass is fired. Oh, motorbike horn honking. Tires screeching. Man, hey, what? Are you stupid? Peter, woo hoo hoo. Whoa, he stole that guy's pizzas. Child, I'm gonna get it. Truck horn honks. Grunts. Mm, hey, you guys. No playing in the streets. Yes, Mr. Spider Man. Yes, Mr. Spider Man. See you. Woman, way to go. Spy day. Music plays in lobby. Music. Colored and hearing improved by Sid Brothers underscore 3. Peter, who am I? You sure you wanna know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If somebody said it was a happy little tale. If somebody told you I was just your average guy, not a care in the world. Somebody lied. Let me assure you, this, like any story worth telling, is all about a girl. That girl. The girl next door. Mary Jane Watson. The woman I've loved since before I even liked girls. I'd like to tell you that's me next to her. Ah, heck, I even take him. Pounding on window. Laughing. Peter, stop the bus. Peter, that's me. Tell him to stop. Please, stop. Hey, stop the bus. MJ, stop. He's been chasing us since Woodhaven Boulevard. Guy 1, catch a cab. Parker, thank you. I'm sorry I'm late. People laughing. Guy 2, what a geek. Don't even think about it. Guy 3, you're so lame. Parker, girl, would you date him? Uh -huh. People laughing. Teacher, get down high seniors. No wondering. Proceed direct knock it off. Remember, it is a privilege to be here. We're guests of Columbia University Science Department, so behave accordingly. Let's not have a repeat of our trip to the planetarium. Come on, people, stay together. Proceed up the steps and into the building. MJ, where were you? Girl, checking out the library, looking at the books. Yeah, right. Harry, Charles, can we drive around the corner, please? What? The entrance is right there. Dad, these are public school kids. I'm not showing up for the field trip in the rolls. What? You want me to trade in my car for a Jetta? Because you flunked out of every private school I ever sent you to. It wasn't for me. Of course it was. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed of who I am. It's just, just what? Harry, forget it. P. Hi, Harry. Music. Colored and hearing improved by Sid Brothers underscore 3. Music. Tombs. Things are never gonna be the same now. I mean, look at this. You got aliens. Mason. MM. You got big green guys tearing down buildings. You got big green guys tearing down buildings. When I was a kid, I used to draw cowboys and Indians. Um, actually, it's Native American, but whatever. Yeah, tell you what. Uh, ain't bad, is it? No. Yeah, it's got a future. Yeah, well, we'll see, I guess. Music. Machinery whirring. Indistinct shouting. No. Uh -huh. You can't saw through that stuff. These alien bastards are tough. You gotta use the stuff they use. See. Alright, man. Alright. Okay. Glad you could join us. Afternoon. Yeah, my alarm didn't go off. Yeah, your alarm. Look, just go stack that armor plating like I ask you. This is a huge deal for us. Poke, attention, please. In accordance with Executive Order 396B, all post-battle cleanup operations are now under our jurisdiction. Thank you for your service. We'll take it from here. Who the hell are you? Qualified personnel. Look, I have a city contract to salvage all this. Okay, with the city. So, I apologize, Mr. Tombs, but all salvage operations are now under our jurisdiction. Please turn over any and all exotic materials that you've collected, or you will be prosecuted. Bam, what am? Please, I'm here. Hey, lady, come on. Look, whispering, I bought trucks for this job. I brought in a whole new crew. These guys have a family. I have a family. I'm all in on this. I could lose my house. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Maybe next time. Don't overextend yourself. In normal voice, what did you say? Whistles. Yeah, he's right. I overextended myself. Man one, uh, man two, hey, hey, hey. Man three, don't do it. Uh, 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 poke, put them down. If you have a grievance, you may take it up with my superiors. Your superiors. Who the hell are they? Reporter, joint venture between Stark Industries and the government. The Department of Damage Control will oversee the collection and storage of alien and other exotic materials. Now the assholes who made this mess are paid to clean it up. Yeah, it's all rigged. Reporter, experts estimate there are over 1,500 tons of exotic material scattered throughout the tri-state area. Hey, chief, we have another load.
episode from yesterday. We're supposed to turn this in. I ain't hauling it. It's too bad. We could have made some cool stuff from all that alien junk. Music. I tell you what. Let's keep it. The world's changing. It's time we change. Two. The Rolling Stones. Can't you hear me knocking, playing? Power tools and machines whirring. Indistinct shouting. Weapon powering up. Yeah. You got satin shoes. Not whirring. Yeah. You got plastic boots. Y'all got cocaine eyes. Yeah. You got speed freak jive tombs. There you go. Mason. Can't you hear me knocking on your window? Man, hello, everyone. This is Phil Lord, co-writer and producer of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I'm Chris Miller, producer. I am Bob Persichetti, uh, one of the directors. This is Peter Ramsey, another one of the directors. This is Rodney Rothman. I'm a co-director and co-writer. Persichetti and cohort. Rothman and cohort. Lord and sweetheart. Rothman, I like take one better. All laughing. Lord, really? I think this one was good. Persichetti Marvel. Miller, you're currently watching the uh, opening credits. All glitching from various universes. Persichetti Sony Pictures Animation brings this lovely film to you. Uh -huh. Lord, see a mile sticker on that logo. Already putting his stamp on the movie. Miller, there was a Columbia logo from Catalu. A fine film if you haven't ever seen it. The universe where Catalu is the main. Lord Sony logo. Ramsey and we are approved by the Comics Code Authority. Miller, the Comics Code, for those who don't know, was a censorship board in the early days of comics when they were worried about comics poisoning the minds of children. Ramsey, why do you tell M. Man, Hoffman, we also saw a 42 on a ping pong ball. Ramsey, yes. Miller, that was. Lord, a reference to Miles's origin and uh, the fact that he got to go to his school because he won a lottery. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. Great power comes great responsibility. Persichetti, there's the line. Chuckles. Lord, that is the uh, Uncle Ben. Persichetti, yeah. Miller, you may notice a bunch of scenes that are reminiscent of other iconic Spider-Man moments. This version of Peter was supposed to be an amalgam of all the Spider-Men that we knew in the universe. Good and bad. Lord bad. Persichetti and great. Miller good and great. I'm sorry. All laughing. Miller good and great. Yes. Lord that joke saved the movie. Persichetti the dance move or the popsicle. Lord the dance move. Rothman the joke started the movie. Lord I resisted that dance joke and Rodney really pushed hard for it. Miller he was right. Lord he was right. Rothman I would have been happy if we came up with something better. All laughing. Miller that's impossible. Rothman we did try. Lord it told the audience what movie they were watching that they were watching a comedy and they laughed so big and uh, they laughed at everything afterwards. As a result, Rothman I call that a warm up laugh. Bill. Lord oh nicely done. Rothman warmed the audience up for. Lord that's a professional term. Persichetti for miles not knowing the words to the song. This original song. Lord another Rodney Rothman thought. Miller yeah. We all wanted to meet Miles in a very intimate place. And it was Rodney who was really pushing to. Uh. Have him be in this relatable idea. Of not knowing all the lyrics to a song but singing along privately. So you could fall in love with this guy. This shot took how long to animate Bob. Persichetti oh boy. Um. Weeks and weeks and weeks. Laps. He started animating it before we actually had the song finished. Which um. Was interesting. It was really easy to not know the words then. Miller I mean. It's a really long shot. With a lot of intimate. Nuanced animation in it. So. Rothman yeah. Persichetti amazing animators. Rothman and there's actually three straight. Very long. Well. Four or less three straight. Very long shots of Miles that introduce him. One's about to start right now, but that was a choice. Deliberate choice, I think, to open with a big, crazy Spider-Man montage, and then when we meet Miles, kind of start a different pace and, uh, long shots, and just kind of watch him and how he is and don't get too fancy with it. Although, ironically, these shots are very fancy. Ramsey, I mean, he literally immerse you in his world, which is really cool. Lord, and you get to spend time with him and see him in a more naturalistic way. Everything from the color to the shot language to the sound design is meant to go from a very heightened experience with Peter to a very naturalistic experience with Miles. Miller, the scene in particular showcases the great dynamic. Brian Tyree Henry, who plays Miles' dad, and Shay Mike Moore, who plays Miles, have, and, I think it's a really beautiful scene, and it's a really, it's a really important scene for the whole movie. Persichetti, hi guys, um, I am Tom Holland, I'm joined today by Toby McGuire and Andrew Garfield, we just wanted to take a moment to say a massive thank you, for all of your continued love and support for this film, while we were making this film, I think I can speak on behalf of all of us, that we knew that we had our hands on something really special, but I don't think we could ever have imagined, it would have been received as well as it has been, so thank you so much, we are just incredibly grateful that you guys are here for it, thank you to everybody for supporting this movie, I got to show up with these guys and have a beautiful experience, Andrew, we have something to tell you, but it's important to both of us that you know this, okay, we love you, love you, about time, I've been waiting months, I've been waiting months since that day in Atlanta, I had it in here, yeah, it took every part of me not to say that, this was worth the wait, and I will wait for you guys for centuries, Kiernan on TV we come to you now with revelations, about last week's attack in London, an anonymous source provided this video, it shows Quentin Beck, aka Mysterio, moments before his death, you may find this video disturbing, Mysterio I managed to send the elemental back through the rip, I don't think I'm gonna make it off this bridge alive, Spider-Man attacked me, he has an army of drones, Stark technology, he's saying he's the only one who's gonna be the new Iron Man, no one else, backslash and 8 Edith are you sure you want to commence the drone attack, backslash and 8 there will be significant casualties, Slash and 8 Spider-Man do it. Execute them all. Slash and 8 explosions booming. Here and this shocking video was released earlier today on the controversial news website thedailybugle.net. Jameson on TV there you have it folks. Conclusive proof that Spider-Man was responsible for the brutal murder of Mysterio, an interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet, and who will, no doubt, go down in history as the greatest superhero of all time. But that's not all folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Brace yourselves. You might want to sit down. Mysterio Spider-Man's real Spider-Man's real name is. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. Dash Spider-Man what the F. Dash horn honks. That's right folks. Peter Parker. A 17 year old high school delinquent. Dash man one she knows him. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? Jameson is, in fact. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? Dash, the vile vigilante villain Spider-Man. Dash man to yokes him. Dash Spider-Man whoa, whoa. Please don't touch her. You're just a kid. Woman one you murdered Mysterio. You helped him. Dash Spider-Man I didn't eat. Come on, kid. Let me see your face. Dash crowd clamoring. He hit me. Spider-Man hit me. Come on, he hit me. Jameson all this time. People looked up to this boy and called him a hero. Well, I'll tell you what I call him. Public enemy number one. Gasping I told you I never wanted to do this ever again. MJ, I'm so sorry. But I can't see anything with your hand in my. MJ sorry. Where are we
no, not really. A man, yo, Peter. Backslash and a talking heads, eyes and playing. Proud clam hourin, size, ass, streaks, grunting, screaming, clock ticking, beeping, whirring, beeping rapidly. Andy, Balder, have you seen my tweezers? Object clattering, clatters, size, timer beeping, beeping stops. Um, sorry, you need that mug, size, I needed that coffee. So, subtitles by explosive skull www.opensubtitles.org. Toy, speakers, unity, what you making? A gadget for you to wear on patrol. It's the perfect tool to keep you safe. This button makes a really loud sound to incapacitate your enemies. Beeps, imitate siren wailing, chuckles, like that. This one can wrap you in an inflatable hug, so no one can hurt you. Aha, and this one is for when you're outnumbered. You just hold out your hand and say, stop, and boom, glitter cloud, and the bad guys will leave you alone. Oh, because glitter makes people happy, because the refracted light causes the enterochromaphin cells. Release a retort. Yeah, glitter makes people happy. Let's try it out. Remember how you told me not to take apart your cell phone? Asks, Alter Becca, who took apart my, still wanna kill me? No, just the opposite, then it works. I also wanna add some kitten visuals. Trigger the orbitofrontal cortex. Dispatcher, on radio, 11825, code 6, 100. Big ears Kelly will get it. Yeah, we can use this as a good way to find out all sorts of information on their team. And it's really crucial for us to figure out which one of them has votes against them. I see somebody, guys. Oh my god, I think that the other team is coming here. We've got a little bad news for y'all. No. What? We have bad news. When they arrived, I was excited at first. I was like, oh, sweet, other team members are here. What's going on? We're now Samburu. You are kidding me? Oh, my god. No one's more shocked than we were. Hi, hi, what the heck? Are you serious? Yeah, then as reality set in, we all kind of just panicked. Is this a joke? No, no, it's not for real. No, it is. Not for, like, good, yeah, until the merger. Where's all your stuff? It's on the way. No way. No way, yeah, so welcome, come here, oh my god, are you kidding, something is up though, that's people from their tribe coming to us, it is, when I saw them coming up, I thought they were going to try to, like, steal our flag or get some info from us, or check on our house, Clarence, Ethan, Jim, we're switching homes, I'm Baron, Silas, yeah, Oli, it was a switch, there, like, we're on your side now, and my stomach dropped, because everything I had worked for, all the bonds I had made, two closest friends on the team were now gone, and I was, like, I'm going to have to start over, oh, man, nice, you guys have a roof on yours, yeah, you built a roof, yeah, is it nice, we built a roof and we put, in the day in the heat, we put blankets over it, and put blankets down for your shade, this is all our, you know, the creek water here, my old tribe, I had an alliance, with four of the young people, now as far as the situation, you know, yeah, it's not that great, I mean, I came here with the two people, that I didn't probably want to come here with, and you know, left three of my buddies, back at the other camp, and that was kind of tough, I mean, we're just, our minds right now are going crazy, is that what they're looking for, yeah, 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 absolutely gorgeous, careful we're trying not to let the rice drop, because, if it expands in there, we have really good food, you know, the water's kind of like mud here, but the food's really good, so there's kind of a trade-off, so what do you guys do all day, do you lounge around like we do, there's a lot of lounging, all of us and I'm sure the old Samburu felt the same way, all of us had been so careful about arranging our strategies, and arranging for our own security and well-being, that, all of a sudden, all of that was completely blown asunder, how's the firewood, do you guys have a lot of wood, no, no, are you guys struggling, too, we have tons stored up, though, you should see how much we stored up, we stored up enough for the next week, I'm so pissed off, you think you're on top one minute, and then we just had this incredible loop thrown, towards us, and, you know, just this kink in the loop, that just threw everything off, all confidence completely down the drain, this is amazing, y'all, you know, I don't mind, playing the cards they've dealt me, and I'm taking it like a little man, I put a smile on my face this morning, but I had to move it a little bit, whoa, oh, it's all coming out the back, oh, gosh, watch it, okay, we should have made a bigger depression in there, we were, we were pissed about the fact that when we got there, it looked like, and for north, on, I gotta go, time for my shift, good for Graham, okay, uh, I'll come with you, I can finish this on the way, you won't even know I'm there, Chuckles, what you need to do is get ready for school, oh, mom, school's boring, and the kids think I'm weird, weird, hey, look at me, what's wrong with weird, the world needs weird, listen, I'm out there keeping the neighborhood safe, but one day, your ideas, your gadgets, are gonna keep the world safe, and everybody will wish they were as weird as you, you think, I know, ow, give me a non-inflatable hug, love you, partner, I promise I'll always have your back, team weird, team weird, Jinkus, speaking Japanese, blowing, and shutters, man, it's cold, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, oh, my god, anybody want this, that's what happens when you do a mercy invite, I believe you wanted to invite everyone, Dad, I can't invite everyone in my art class except for one person, without social networking evidence, inflicting more pain on that person than was intended, and I'm not a monster, I'm proud of you, I think, she gets detention a lot and she yells, a teacher sometimes, there was that rumor that went around, that she just kept running away from home, um, maybe she can uber, I seriously believe that we can go home now, um, did I mistakenly convey this was a democracy, we are not going till she gets picked up, uh, the car broke down, I'm just gonna take the bus, you're not taking a bus, I'll drive you home, Claire has almost saved her half of the money she needs for a car, isn't
Isn't that right? This'll be one of the few times left I can drive you guys around. I won't be able to hear my dad tell jokes, and only he thinks are funny for an entire car ride unless you come. You don't really want to miss that. Uh, I got more gifts than I thought I did. Can I put this in here? Yeah, I'll get it. Thank you, Marsha. Maybe he just is into it. Maybe he's just content where he is. Can I help you? What? This is the one. He's really funny. He does these weekly videos. T it's so random. That is so weird. Yeah, you have a crush. Alarm beeping. Alarm beeping. Did you hear that? Dash. R2 V2 beeps. They shut down the main reactor. We'll be destroyed for sure. This is madness. Beep whistle blip. Whistle beep beep. We're doomed. Beep beep. There will be no escape for the princess this time. Dash. Planking. What's that? Beep blip beep. R2 D2. Where are you? Beep blip blip. At last. Where have you been? They're heading in this direction. What are we going to do? We'll be sent to the spice mines of Kessel or smashed into who knows what. Wait a minute. Where are you going? The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? Joking. We intercepted no transmissions. This is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic mission. If this is a consular ship, where is the ambassador? Commander, tear this ship apart until you found those plans. And bring me the passengers. I want them alive. There's one. Set for stun. She'll be alright. Inform Lord Vader we have a prisoner. Hey, you're not permitted in there. It's restricted. You'll be deactivated for sure. Beep blip. Don't call me a mindless philosopher. You overweight glob of grease. Come out before somebody sees you. Whistle blip blip. Secret mission. What plans? What are you talking about? I'm not getting in there. I'm going to regret this. There goes another one. Hold your fire. There's no life forms. It must have short circuit. That's funny. The damage doesn't look as bad from out here. Are you sure this thing is safe? Whistle beep whistle. Darth Vader. Only you could be so bold. The Imperial Senate will not sit still for this. When they hear you've attacked, don't act so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. Holding her is dangerous. If word of this gets out, it could generate sympathy for the rebellion in the Senate. I have traced the rebel spies to her. Now she is my only link to finding their secret base. She'll die before she'll tell you anything. Leave that to me. Send a distress signal and then inform the Senate that all Senator, we're making our final approach into Coruscant. Very good, Lieutenant. Droid beeping. Grunts, we made it. Man, I guess I was wrong. There was no danger at all. Ford, Milady, I'm so sorry. I failed you, Senator. No, Milady, you're still in danger here. I shouldn't have come back. This vote is very important. You did your duty. Ford did hers. Now, um, Senator Amidala, please. I don't know how much longer. I can hold off the vote, my friends. More and more star systems are joining the separatists. If they do break away, I will not let this republic that has stood for a thousand years be split in two. My negotiations will not fail. If they do, you must realize there aren't enough Jedi to protect the republic. We're keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Master Yoda, do you think it will really come to war? Mm, the dark side clouds everything. Impossible to see the future is. The loyalist committee has arrived, your honor. Speaking Huttus. Good. Huttus. Send them in. We will discuss this matter later. Senator Amidala, your tragedy on the landing platform. Terrible. Seeing you alive brings warm feelings to my heart. Do you have any idea who was behind this attack? Our intelligence points to disgruntled spice miners on the moons of Naboo. I think that Count Dooku was behind it. He is a political idealist, not a murderer. You know, milady, Count Dooku was once a Jedi. He couldn't assassinate anyone. It's not in his character, but for certain, Senator, in grave danger you are. Master Jedi, may I suggest the Senator be placed under the protection of your graces. Do you really think that's a wise decision under these stressful times? Chancellor, if I may comment, I do not believe the situation is that serious. No, but I do, Senator. I realize all too well that additional security. Command station, this is ST321. Code clearance blue. We're starting our approach. Deactivate the security shield. The security deflector shield will be deactivated when we have confirmation of your code transmission. Stand by. You are clear to proceed. We're starting our approach. Siren, inform the commander that Lord Vader's shuttle has arrived. Sir, Lord Vader, this is an unexpected pleasure. We're honored by your presence. You may dispense with the pleasantries, Commander. I'm here to put you back on schedule. I assure you, Lord Vader, my men are working as fast as they can. Perhaps I can find new ways to motivate them. I tell you the station will be operational, as planned. The Emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation, but he asks the impossible. I need more men. Then perhaps you can tell him when he arrives. The Emperor is coming here? That is correct, Commander. And he is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress. We shall double our efforts. I hope so, Commander. For your sake, the Emperor is not as forgiving as I am. Whistle whistle beep. Of course I'm worried, and you should be too. Lando Calrissian and poor Chewbacca never returned from this awful place. Beep beep whistle. Don't be so sure. If I told you half the things I've heard about this Jabba the Hutt, you'd probably short circuit. Why not? Whistle whistle. Beep whistle. R2, are you sure this is the right place? Whistle beep beep. I'd better knock, I suppose. Whistle. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Let's go back and tell Master Luke. Beep beep. Speaking Huttus. Goodness gracious me. Speaking Huttus. R2 Dito. Eating. Chirping. Lock onto him. R2. Beeps. Master. General Grievous ship is directly ahead. The one crawling with vulture droids. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is going to be easy. Speaking droid language. Oddball. Do you copy? Man on headset copy. Red leader. Mark my position. Form your squad up behind me. We're on your tail. General Kenobi. Set S foils in attack position. This is where the fun begins. Let them pass between us. They're all over me. Get them off my static. I'm gonna go help them out. Obi-Wan, no. No, they are doing their job so we can do ours. Screams. Speaking droid language. Missiles. Pull up. They overshot us. They're coming around. Beeping. All right. R4. No, 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 no. Nothing too fancy. Surge all power units. R2. Stand by reverse thrusters. Engines roaring. Whistling. Chuckles. We got M. R2. Beeps. Whistles. Flying is for droids. I'm hit. Anakin. I see them. Buzz droids. Cackling. R4. Whimpering. Squawking. Chirping. R4. Be careful. You have it. Wailing. Oh dear. They're shutting down all the controls. Move to the right so I can get a clear shot at them. The mission. Get to the command ship. Get the chancellor. I'm running out of tricks here. Squealing. Oh. In the name of hold your fire. You're not helping here. I agree. Bad idea. Screams. I can't see a thing. My cockpit's fogging. They're all over me. Anakin. Move to the right. Hold on. Anakin. You're gonna get us both killed. Get out of here. There's nothing more you can do. I'm not leaving without you. Master. Buzzing. Beeping. Whistling. Get him. Echo 3 
matter? You smell something? Rada, chui, chui, chui. All right, don't lose your temper. I'll come right back and give you a hand. Solo, no sign of life out there. General, the sensors are in place. You'll know if anything comes around. Commander Skywalker reported in yet? No. He's checking out a meteorite that hit near him. With all the meteor activity in the system, it's going to be difficult to spot approaching ships. General, I got to leave. I can't stay anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, there's a price on my head. If I don't pay off Jabba the Hutt, I'm a dead man. A death mark's not an easy thing to live with. You're a good fighter, Solo. I hate to lose you. Thank you, General. Well, your highness. Yes, this is it. That's right. Well, don't get all mushy on me. So long, Princess Han. Yes, your highnesses. I thought you had decided to stay. Well, the bounty hunter we ran into in Ord Mantle changed my mind. Han, we need you. We need, yes. Well, what about you need? I need, I don't know what you're talking about. You probably don't. And what precisely am I supposed to know? Come on, you want me to stay because of the way you feel about me? Yes, you're a great help to us. You're a natural leader. No, that's not it. In music playing, BB-8 chirping. This will begin to make things right. I've traveled too far and seen too much to ignore the despair in the galaxy. Without the Jedi, there can be no balance in the Force. Well, because of you, now we have a chance. The General's been after this for a long time. Oh, the General, you mean, she is royalty. Well, she certainly is that. Slats clattering. BB-8 chirping excitedly. We got company. Villagers shouting indistinctly. Shouting continues. You have to hide. You have to leave. Go. Villagers clamoring. Bell tolling. Villagers screams. Clamoring continues. Blaster cocking. Indistinct screaming and shouting. Indistinct stormtrooper radio chatter. Po panting. Come on. BB-8 hurry. BB-8 chirps. Engines revving. BB-8 chirps nervously. BB-8 chirps. Stormtrooper. Blast that X-wing. Over there. Over there. Po groans. Alarms ringing. BB-8 chirping. I see them. Villager chittering nervously. You take this. It's safer with you than it is with me. You get as far away from here as you can. Do you hear me? BB-8 chirps. I'll come back for you. It will be all right. Blaster cocking. Stormtrooper groans. FN-2187 gasping. Stormtrooper 1. Keep moving. Stormtrooper 2. Stay here. KYLO Ren. Look how old you've become. Something far worse has happened to you. You know what I've come for. I know where you come from. Before you called yourself Kylo Ren. The map to Skywalker. We know you found it. And now you're going to give it to the First Order. The First Order rose from the dark side. You did not. I'll show you the dark side. You may try. But you cannot deny the truth that is your family. You're so right. Lightsaber crackling. Blaster bolt crackling. Po groans. Bolt pulsating. Groans. So who talks first? You talk first. I talk first. KYLO Ren. The old man gave it to you. It's just very hard to understand you with all the. Search him. Apparatus. Stormtrooper. Nothing. Sir. KYLO Ren. Put him on board. Phasma. Sir. The villagers. Kill the theme music playing. Evacuation officer. We're not clear yet. There are still 30 pallets of cannon shells in C bunker. Forget the munitions. There's no time. Just get everyone on the transports. Dash. Distant boom. Oh no. Distant boom. We've caught them in the middle of their evacuation. I have my orders from Supreme Leader Snoke himself. This is where we snuff out the resistance once and for all. Tell Captain Kennedy to prime his dreadnought. Incinerate their base. Destroy their transports and obliterate their fleet. Alarm blaring. Radar bleeping. General. Resistance ship approaching. Guns and shields in attack mode. A single light fighter. BB-8 chirping nervously. Happy beats here. Buddy, come on. We pulled crazier stunts than this. Leia, just for the record, Commander Dameron. I'm with the droid on this one. Oh, thank you for your support, General. Happy beeps. Flick switch. Attention. This is Commander Poe Dameron of the Republic fleet. I have an urgent communique for General Hugs. Patch him through. This is General Hugs of the First Order. The Republic is no more. Your fleet are rebels come and war criminals. Tell your precious princess there will be no terms. There will be no surrender. Oh, hi. I'm holding for General Hugs. This is Hugs. You and your friends are doomed. We will wipe your filth from the galaxy. Po, okay. I'll hold. Hello. Po, hello. Yeah. I'm still here. Can he hear me? Po, Hugs. He can. Po, with an H. Skinny guy. Kind of pasty. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Look, I can't hold forever. If you reach him, tell him Leia has an urgent message for him. I believe he's tooling with you, sir. Po, about his mother. Open fire. Dash. Display bleeping rapidly. BB-8 punch it. BB-8 chirps excitedly. Runs. BB-8 exclaiming. He's going for the dreadnought. Ah, he's insane. Woohoo. That's got a kit. All right, taking out the cannons now. Tolly, start your approach. Tolly, on radio, copy that. Captain Kennedy, why aren't you blasting that puny captain? Yes, sir. Tell them we wish to board at once. Machinery beeping with all due respect. The ambassadors for the Supreme Chancellor wish to board immediately. Yes, of course. As you know, our blockade is perfectly legal, and we'd be happy to receive the ambassadors. I'm DC-14 at your service. This way, please. We are greatly honored by your visit, ambassadors. Make yourselves comfortable. My master will be with you shortly. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't sense anything. It's not about the mission, master. It's something elsewhere. Elusive. Don't center on your anxieties, Obi-Wan. Keep your concentration here and now, where it belongs. But Master Yoda said I should be mindful of the future, but not at the expense of the moment. Be mindful of the living force, young for the one. Yes, Master. How do you think this trade viceroy will deal with the Chancellor's demands? These Federation types are cowards. The negotiations will be short. What? What did you say? The ambassadors are Jedi Knights, I believe. I knew it. They're here to force a settlement. Distract them. I will contact Lord Sidious. Are you brain dead? I'm not going in there with two Jedi. Send a droid. Is it in their nature to make us wait this long? No, I sense an unusual amount of fear for something as trivial as this trade dispute. What is it? This scheme of yours has failed, Lord Sidious. The blockade is finished. We dare not go against these Jedi. Viceroy, I don't. Like a bunch of lazy people have been running the camp, you know. Can you lift it up so I can just dig a pit for it? There was a mound of ash, you know, a foot and a half high. They hadn't really been taking care of their fire properly. There was almost no firewood inside the camp. And one of my first questions was, you know, where's all the firewood? And so you're all more than welcome to look around. There's the firewood. We've pretty much yanked all the firewood. We can all do a firewood run after we go to the water hole. Yeah, but, I mean, there's just not much around. We've all, we've worked really hard and suffered a lot, with no food and no water and stuff like that. And just to see people out here who just don't take it seriously and be stuck with them, it's painful.
Did you find the map? I didn't look. We kind of made a little path with rocks. It's really mushy. If you step in the wrong spot, you'll sink. Now go left. Oh, left? Yeah, now go left. And then straight? Do we go over the dry river bed? No, go along it. There's a path right there. Oh, go north. Okay. It was obvious that these people were napping all day, and that they weren't doing squat. This is mud. They've been drinking out of a mud hole, like hell. Hi, hello. Yeah, it's pretty harsh. Hi, yeah, yeah, this is sick. Oh, my god, it's even even dirtier today. It's really bad. We've been clearing it out. Yuck. Clean my feet. Do you guys do laundry in this? Yeah, I don't know. They keep waiting for a mysterious thing to happen here in Africa. Wood's gonna fall out of the sky. There's going to be an artesian well coming up in the camp. I don't know, maybe a swimming pool. But I don't think that's going to happen. And I feel like we're going to have to get out there and pull the plow. You want small stuff. All this stuff burns, like a madman. I'm definitely on the other side right now. I was on the good side. Now I'm I'm on the bad side. This twist in the game has really stuck a thorn in my side. I wanted this. I wanted you on my team anyway. I know, that's what I said. Man, I said, if you, like, give me him, he'll be straight. Do you think this is a cool thing to have happened? Frank and I thought, are we going down this way? Right. Just because the four, you know. Obviously, either you or Frank was next. Right, yeah. Frank and T, this has just rejuvenated their life. I mean, this is like a whole new opportunity for them, you know. Because they knew at least one of them was going to go the next vote. All this happening today, Frank, and I looked at each other and thought, you know, we're alive again. Elephant's trumpet. There's like nine of them. They're there. Oh, yeah, I see them right through here, actually. Right there. I don't see the babies. I see this large one coming up behind this one as well. It's nice. There's a trumpeting of the elephant. Magnificent creature this close. Unbelievable. Low rumbling. Even in the face of defeat we're not going down. You never give up. Absolutely not. Right till the end. Not till I'm six feet underground. So they were asking you guys to vote with them. But they wouldn't tell you which one of you. They were going to vote off. Right. That's how bad it was. You know, it was just. And when they tried to tell Teresa to vote for Lindsay because they wanted Lindsay to keep all the strikes against her. Who said to vote for Lindsay? Those same people told to you vote for. All four of them. They wanted to keep, so the other three wouldn't get any, because they were an alliance, they weren't going to break up, so as long as they had the control, it's even better they told Linda.